education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View and m University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and m University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Prairie View a and m University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. stands out among competitors in its class. It features an automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive, and a 5-liter 8-cylinder engine. A wealth of standard features mean that you no longer have to sacrifice, such as cruise control, a blind spot monitoring system, power door mirrors and heated door mirrors, lane departure warning, and remote keyless entry. Rear passengers enjoy the seat heating functionality, keeping them warm during the winter months. With high-intensity discharge headlights illuminating your path, you'll always appreciate maximum visibility. For drivers who enjoy the natural environment, a power moonroof allows an infusion of fresh air. 
Audio features include a CD player with MP3 capability and 17 speakers, providing world-class sound throughout. Hyundai also prioritized safety and security by including front and rear side impact airbags, a security system, an emergency communication system, and four-wheel disc brakes with AVS. Stop by our dealership or give us a call for more information. Outstanding design defines the 2015 Hyundai Equus. This four-door, five-passenger sedan stands out among competitors in its class. It features an automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive, and a five-liter eight-cylinder engine. A wealth of standard features mean that you no longer have to sacrifice, such as cruise control, a blind spot monitoring system, power door mirrors and heated door mirrors, lane departure warning, and remote keyless entry. Rear passengers enjoy the seat heating functionality, keeping them warm during the winter months. With high intensity discharge headlights illuminating your path, you'll always appreciate maximum visibility. For drivers who enjoy the natural environment, a power moonroof allows an infusion of fresh air. Audio features include a CD player with MP3 capability and 17 speakers, providing world-class sound throughout. Hyundai also prioritized safety and security by including front and rear side impact airbags, a security system, an emergency communication system, and four-wheel disc brakes with AVS. Stop by our dealership or give us a call for more information. Outstanding design defines the 2015 Hyundai Equus. This four-door, five-passenger sedan stands out among competitors in its class. It features an automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive, and a five-liter eight-cylinder engine. A wealth of standard features mean that you no longer have to sacrifice, such as cruise control, a blind spot monitoring system, power door mirrors and heated door mirrors, lane departure warning, and remote keyless entry. Rear passengers... It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only... It's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family-oriented. I chose for you because I'm looking forward uh, to competing in the track with my teams. I chose for you because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to further my I wanted to come to an HPCU and create a great experience and that I would have never had. My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Parity because of its great academic for my teammates and You get to make new friends from all over. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only It's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family-oriented. I chose for you because I'm looking forward uh, to competing great in the with my teams. Baseball for the school. I chose Prairie View.
Parker for three. Yes, it's good. Alexis Parker for three. Left side with it. It is going to be Shatara Lewis. Lewis now will keep it at the wing. Coming right side. They throw it inside. Now to Janae Thompson. Right side in the corner. Now to Hill. Hill on the baseline with the crossover. Oh, great move on Ebony McNeil. And Overshawn comes down with it. And we'll go back the other way after it's stolen away by the Lady Tigers. Parker, yes, gets right in front of Shatara Lewis and draws the charging violation and Overshawn doing great for the Lady Panthers bringing it down quickly and making some good rebounds here. Checking in for the Tigers is going to be number 13 Jasmine Boyd. The Panthers battle back for within three 20 to 23 the Panthers down by three and here we go. Carter left side to Overshawn at the wing back up top now to Ariana McGee. Left corner. Parker. 13. Great pass down over to Scott. McGee can't follow the rebound, and we're going back the other way. And we've got an injured player, and we need to call a timeout here on the sideline. And, man, we've got a, a young lady wincing in pain. That's their bonus baby, Jasmine Boyd. The freshman from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and she is wincing in pain, ladies and gentlemen, as Brene Andrews gets up off the bench. Thank goodness we have audio. Thank you, Ryan McGinty, for working tirelessly to try to get our audio back on. Folks, we apologize, but we're so glad to bring it to you. And, folks, uh, uh, it looks tough down there for Boyd. We'll take a break here as Boyd is on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Let's step aside. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom, and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover, and you're just so exhausted because we do so much, and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment, guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, an injury timeout, Jasmine Boyd. Uh, hit the ground pretty hard, uh, but looks like she has some movement uh, in that uh, left knee, it looks like. She's limping, but gee whiz, we hate to see that, ladies and gentlemen. Any athlete goes down. I mean, you know, we're rivals, and we're trying to win, too, but we're all family here in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, so hopefully everything is okay with Boyd. Back to live action, though, left corner. 
with it will be Andrews. Now they get it all the way back up top left side now to Monisha Neal. Back right side. Now they get it down low. Kicking it over to Thompson. Thompson back out deep for Lewis for three. No. Kennedy uh, with a push. Puts it back. No. Fighting for it and getting an easy one. Oh, man. The Tigers can't buy a bucket. And coming down with the foul is going to be uh, Janae Thompson. She'll pick up her first personal here. The first of the second half or the second, pardon me, uh, for the Tigers, and the Panthers will have it. Left side with it now is Overshawn in the corner. Back up top now to Carter. Right side, they'll give it to Parker. Parker's hot with two three-pointers. Left side with it now to Carter in the corner to Overshawn. Overshawn has it. Whoa, stuffed. And a coach looking to the bench and saying, get Overshawn out of there. She's not supposed to be shooting. And Golly G. Willikers. Overshawn will come out and they'll take a seat. Abs will check back in. Marvin and Mary are excited about it down in Phoenix, Arizona with that good old cream soup that I hope to get. Uh, when the Abs family comes to town. Here comes uh, Parker to take it out on the baseline, all the way up top now to Parker. Left side, Abs. Abs with the dribble drive. Right side, Parker. Wide open for three. Looks good. No. And coming down with it will be the Tigers. Scott couldn't get it. And here we go, left side with Brene Andrews. Pardon me, that's going to be uh, Monisha Neal. Left side with it in the corner was Andrews. And then I'll put it up left side, in and out. Andrews can't hit it. Andrews 29% from the three-point range for the Tigers. She's their leading three-point shooter. Carter will slow it down. We're stuck, folks, 23 to 20 the last couple of possessions. Left side with it. Now Abs has it. Abs in the corner. Partially blocked. And Parker get it. She's getting up there. No. Carter with the turnaround jumper has it blocked, and we're going back the other way. Good crossover dribble by Lewis. Here comes Lewis up to the right side. Lewis from five puts it way high. Archer off the backboard, and a charging violation called on Shatara Lewis, the junior from Winfield, Louisiana, a blend college transfer. How did we miss her? Or is that Takara Parsons? Takara Parsons. Okay. My uh, my my spotter, uh, bestest buddy in Big Toe right here, uh, Candace Dixon, is not helping very much uh, on the names. Right side with it. Scott has it with an easy one off the backboard. Larissa Scott. Panthers down by one now. 23-22 quickly up off the bench is Aaliyah Kennedy. And still with uh, two games out. Uh, Larissa Scott still leading in a uh, rebounding averaging 9.9 .9 or contest Kennedy just throws that pardon me Thompson just throws that one up there DeMond didn't like it here comes abs from 15 no snatching it down and going back the other way is going to be Andrews Andrews up top Hill with a crossover back out to Andrews she can hit the three puts it in no McGee can't get it but she'll tip it over now to Parker and here we go back the other way Parker on the baseline puts it up and a reach in there by Takara Parsons, and she will pick up her first personal. That's going to be four team fouls for the Tigers. One more, and we'll shoot in two all the way. Carter under the bucket, getting ready to take it out. Somebody snuck in on me. That was 25. Was that Kennedy? Yeah, Kennedy checked back in. Here comes uh, Monique Abs at the top, right side, getting it over to Parker down low. Now to Scott, back out to Parker. Way cross court to Abs. Abs at the left wing, heel on her. Down to 18 seconds, a lot of time. A skip over looking for Parker. Abs throws it away, and we're going back the other way. Here comes Hill. Neil, pardon me, from five. No, the Tigers can't buy a bucket. Man, and that uh, that gnome, that karate kid, that invisible man on the court trips Parker, and she'll get it to Abs. She'll bring it down back into the hands of Carter. We'll slow it down and get ready. Carter. Cross court from Abs to Parker. Now over to Carter, looking down low to get it inside. Now, Scott working, turning, twisting, putting it up. Wow, on three people for two. Larissa, Scott for two. 
54-57 left to play. The Panthers retake the lead for the first time in this contest, 24-23. 4.49 left to play here in the second. Down low, right side. Over there is Andrews. She can hit the three. They skip it down to Kennedy. Kennedy has it blocked, and we're going back the other way. Here comes Ab out to Parker. Parker with a breakaway all the way to the backboard. Inside to Scott off the glass. No! Carter will come down with a good transition by the Panthers. Good unselfish play by Parker, 24-23. Right side with it. Abs will have it. Down low. Oh, great defense that time by Kennedy and a timeout call by uh, head coach Nadine DeMond for the Lady Panthers. Got a couple of announcements. Folks, the countdown for Beyond the Rim has begun. The 2016 Toyota SWAC Basketball Tournament is set for March 8th through the 12th in, the Houston, in Houston, Texas at the Toyota Center. Hope to see you there. Visit the Prairie View NM University ticket office in the Baby Dome to purchase your tickets and www.swac Dot org for an official events schedule. Don't forget the concession stand is open, sponsored by our friends at Sodexo. They are ready to provide catering for your special needs, anniversaries, birthdays, graduations, holiday receptions, weddings, or any type of festive meal. Contact our friends at Sodexo. In Houston, the number to call is 281-850-1933 and in the Prairie View area, 832-309- 8211. They've got all kinds of tasty treats at the concession stand. Popcorn, candy, nachos, nachos with chili and cheese, hot dogs with chili and cheese, and barbecue beef sandwiches. All sponsored by our friends at Sodexo. Sodexo, making every day a better day. And uh, Terry can't wait to take that little ticket and go and get his food. I got to watch my little ticket because my ticket always seems uh, to come up missing. And Candace Dixon was, was just truly excited to get her, her ticket for her meal. She can't wait to go up and get something to nibble on. I made sure that she had her ticket so that she can get something to eat. Even though I can pull it out of my pocket, now I don't have to to make sure Miss Dixon has something to eat. Right side with it now is the Tigers. Back up top, now it's going to be Daria Taylor. They kick it down low and push it back out to Taylor. From 20, no. Parker steals the rebound away. And now Taylor almost steals it from her. Back in for the game, uh, in for the Panthers with Nikki McMillan sending shots out to Pontotoc. There she is right now. As soon as Teresa gets on the chat, Lenicki gets in the game. Left side with it now is Parker coming back up to the top of the circle. Right side with it now is McMillan looking down low. Oh, man, throws it away, trying to get it to, wow, what an adjective, to uh, Scott, just not high enough, and the Tigers will get it. Great move, right side. Hill has it on the baseline, skips it. Left side, wide open, throws it over to Daria Taylor, and Taylor can't find the hole. Hill comes out with it, and Hill's going to throw it. It's going to be a backcourt, and the Panthers will have the ball. And... One of the officials, Bobby Jarman, oh, that's Travis, pardon me, Travis Jones is say, says that the Panthers touched it, so the Tigers will have it, but with 12 seconds on the shot clock, they've got to do something with it quickly. 3.21 left to play, still stuck 24-23, the Panthers on top by one. Here comes Hill, looking left side, gives it over now to Neal. Neal back up top at the top of the circle, right side over to Taylor. In the corner, Taylor for three. It's off the mark, and McMillan boxes out uh, Shaquilla Hill. Uh, but the uh, officials say the shot clock was violated before then. I'm kind of impressed by the freshman Shaquilla Hill from Little Rock, Arkansas, attended Hall High School there. Up top with it, left side now is going to be Parker. Blocked, and Scott can't chase it down. Carter not a usual three-point shooter. Right side with it. Andrews has it. Andrews with some good dribbling. Brings it to the left side. Oh, man, throws it in the corner. Looking for Monisha Neal. She wasn't ready. Now the Lady Tigers seem to be out of sync here. And uh, Coach DeMond over here is uh, pacing up and down the sideline like a Bengal Tiger. How about a Gremlin Tiger? What kind of tiger is the tiger for Gremlin? Is he a Bengal Tiger? Is he a Siberian Tiger? Is he a South Park Tiger? Is he a, I'm just checking. I don't know, you're a tiger, you don't know? Right side in the corner with it is gonna be Tory Carter. Carter looking in the corner. There's Cole, wide open for three, yes, it's good. 
Way down, the Panthers sleeping, and Neal gets an easy layup off the backboard for two. The Panthers just hanging around, and uh, Coach uh, Don Brown really upset. A minute 29 left to play here in the second half. Uh, pardon me, second quarter. They get it down low to Scott in the corner to Carter. Carter misses it all, and we're going back the other way. The Panthers up to 27-25. Here comes Hill, left side. Neal thought about it, but they give it back outside to Jones for three. No. Here come the Panthers. Carter weaving away in and out of traffic. Carter going straight to the bucket. Left side off the glass. No. Overshawn can't get the rebound. Good boxing out there by Hill. Here comes Hill. Right corner. Wide open is Andrews for three. It's off the mark. And the ball knocked out of bounds. McMillan fighting for it with Alexis Adams from right here in Houston, Texas. And I'm sure Adams has some family in here. What high school is Alexis Adams from? No high school? Well, she was born in Houston. That don't mean she's from Houston. Candace Dixon was born in Mississippi, but she lives in California. Checking into the game now is going to be Shante Poole, a senior from Faraday, Louisiana. And the Tigers will have it now with 30 seconds on the shot clock. All the way up top to give it into the hands of Shante Poole. She'll run the point for Nadine DeMond. Poole coming right side, looking in the corner, wants to get it over to Jones for a three-pointer. Less than 30 seconds on the clock to give it back up top to Adams. Adams back out to Poole, and the Tigers want to play for a shot here. Left side win is going to be Andrews. Looking left now, gives it up to Neal. In the corner, wide open for three. That time was Keanu Jones. She can shoot it. Down to 20 seconds, the Tigers take the lead, 28-27. The Panthers want to play for the last point. Cole, Scott, McMillan, Overshawn, and Carter on the floor for Coach Don Brown. Up top, McMillan. Oh, great pass. Down to Larissa Scott for two. Larissa Scott for two. What a great pass by Nikki McMillan. The Tigers have to throw one up in desperation. And going in at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, the Panthers on top of the Tigers by one. This is a good one. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Prairie View and m University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedics, sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty. And the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me and a friend of mine. I wanted to come to an HBCU. We created a great experience. Uh, my favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA, uh, 3.8. I chose Caribbean because of its great academic and my teammates and You get to make new friends from it's all over. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics.
It's just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to, and I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but 
Now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. And I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week. Just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom, and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover, and you're just so exhausted because we do so much, and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building tent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to... Welcome back to the lady, uh, to the baby dome lady uh, and gentlemen, the Lady Panthers uh, here at halftime. You guys stop that. Uh, the Panthers are up by 129 to 28 on a fierce uh, contest. The Lady Tigers have come to town to play. Uh, leading all scorers is Shatara Lewis for the Lady Tigers uh, with 11. Uh, Larissa Scott has come off the bench and hit 10 points. The Panthers winning uh, the uh, war in the paint 16 to 10 and have scored 14 points off their bench and 5 points off the turnovers uh, from Gramlin State. Just couldn't seem to get in the sink. The Panthers were down by 11 and battled back here uh, in the second quarter. Stick around. The exciting second half is uh, coming your way. This is Exciting Panther Basketball. www.pvpanthers.com University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. We did coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists, uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View and It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View so it's long. It's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose me because I'm looking forward to competing in the SWAC with my teams. Baseball for the school. I chose for every because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to further my education. I wanted to come to an HPCU. We created a great experience that I would have never my favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Prairie View because of its great academic Being a leader for my teammates and You get to make new friends from all of them. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics.
team if we win. One team, one team if we win. One team if we lose. One team if we lose. How we play? How we play? It's how we choose. It's how we choose. Let our arms. Let our arms be strong and high. Be strong and high. And let he set. And let he set. Be first to twenty five. Be first to twenty five. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter coming to you solo. The Lady Panthers up one, 29 to 28. Jonathan stribbling away on business, uh, headed to uh, Carlsbad, New Mexico. So we're praying for him and his traveling grace. Also, uh, didn't get a chance uh, to have much of a pregame show. Was having some technical difficulties. But I want to uh, dedicate this game to my teammate, my friend, uh, my brother in Christ, Cedric Scott. Uh, who is in the hospital in Arlington Medical Center, uh, who had open heart surgery. Uh, Cedric Scott, the son of uh, Iron Man Scott, Prairie View a &M University Hall of Famer, uh, and also Prairie View a &M University uh, football player, played wide receiver with yours truly uh, from 1984 to 1989. Man, I just got the news today, and man, I tell you, CS, if I could, I'd be down there with you, buddy. Love you a lot. We're praying for you. McMillan will take a three-pointer here and hit the side of the iron to start off the second half and the shot clock violation for the uh, lady. Pro. What's going on here? Hit the side of the okay. Hit the side of the rim and went out of bounds. Uh, uh, Miss Vicky Monet is in right in my way. I can't see. Okay, on the baseline with it. Now it's Cole who puts it up, has it partially blocked, and we're going back the other way. Left side with it is Neil in the corner to Andrews. She'll, she can hit the three-pointer. No way. And picking up some Samsonite and traveling that time is Shatara Lewis. We're having a lot of fun uh, with the opposition over here. Uh, the lovely Miss Candace Dixon from San Diego, California, uh, doing some sports. What are you doing over there? Are you just writing or tweeting? She's writing uh, stories for Graham State. Uh, she needs to be the athletic, uh, the uh, sports information director. No, not athletic director. I don't think you're ready for that, dear. Right side with it is going to be Larissa Scott back up top to Cole. Cole to McMillan in the corner to Parker. I want to send a shout-out to the Parker family in Savannah, Georgia. Here comes Cole and a foul and a late foul call there on uh, – that's going to be uh, Monet or Andrews. Good. Uh, Brene – not Monet, Brene Andrews. That's going to be her first personal and the first team foul in the second half. Is that Brene or Brenea? Brena. Brene, I was correct. Okay. 29 28. Overshawn will have it and bring it right side. Kicks it over now to Parker. Parker back up top to Overshawn. Overshawn coming left side working. Coming back left side to Cole. Oh, man. And Parker has it swatted away. Great block that time by Janae uh, uh, Thompson, the junior from Los Angeles. California went to Mount San Antonio College. Junior College of Transfer. Is that in LA? Oh, right under the bucket is Lenicky McMillan for two. Lenicky McMillan for two. Great quick shot by McMillan. Teresa is over there moonwalking in Pontotoc, Mississippi. Right side with it now is going to be Shatar Lewis. Back up top left side. Quickly over to Daria Taylor. Taylor to Hill. Hill working for Neal. Neal will step back for three. Hits the side of the iron. No. Great pass and great rebound by Hill. Man, she is going to be a star player in this conference, folks. You just watch it. Shaquilla, uh, Shaquilla Hill kind of makes me think of my good friend Shamika Carter for the Graham State Lady Tigers. Left side with it was McMillan. In the corner now is Parker. Parker to the corner. Wide open from 15 is Larissa Scott. No, there is a foul called under the bucket going against McMillan. And she'll pick up her second personal foul or first? Let's see. It's going to be her first personal. The first team foul. We're tied with one at team fouls for both teams. Up top with it now is going to be Thompson. Thompson to Taylor to Hill all the way across to Neal. Down low. Neal travel. Pardon me. Uh, Kennedy travel. They give it wide open to Neal for 20. It's good. 
31-32. The Tigers up by one. Here comes Overshawn. She tries to feed it in to Scott. She's got to take that shot. Great ball movement by Hill. All wide open Thompson for two. Wow. Grand State clicking on all cylinders now. 6.54 left to play here in the third quarter. Left side with it is Parker in the corner. Cole on the baseline gives it up now to Scott. She'll back it off off the left elbow. Back up top to McMillan for three. Hits the front of the iron. No. McMillan with a long pass will steal it away. And uh, boy, uh, Coach Nadine not real happy. Wide open is Cole with a double pump off the glass and a foul is going to be called on Hill that time. Hill will have it and come right side. Hill kicks it back up top, gives it to Taylor. Left side now to Neal. Neal with the crossover, left elbow. She'll put it up. It's the back of the iron. No. And here comes Larissa Scott. Over now to Cole. Cole steps aside off the glass. No. Shot it off balance and missed it all. 31-34, the Tigers up three. Hill will slow it down, give it back to Neal. Now Neal with the dribble drive, puts it up, kicks it left side. Taylor back outside now to Neal. Neal puts it up, has it blocked that time by Taylor Overshawn. Great defense. Overshawn and Cole will take a break. Carter's got some family in uh, the stands. That's got to be her little sister over there. She looks just like Tori. Golly gee, Willikers, they've got a big sign. You know, the big sign with the uh, full face shot. They've got that over there. They'll have to go over there and meet those, those folks from Atlanta, Georgia, a little bit later. Taylor, left side, gives it up. An air ball. Neal gets her own rebound. Pardon me, that's Lewis getting her own rebound. And another block that time by Larissa Scott. Tigers still up by three here. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Hill is going to have to do something. She gets it on the baseline. Kicks it back out to Thompson. Thompson with a double pump and a great block that time by Scott. And the Tigers will have it with three seconds left on the shot clock. Enough for a catch and shoot. That's it. Hill puts it up for three. Oh, my goodness. And she hits it. Wow. The left-handed three-pointer. Man. And now the Panthers. Tigers, pardon me, up by six. Up top with it is McMillan. Left side. Gives it up now to Parker. She almost loses it. Hill all over her. Now to Abs. Abs steps in. Passes it right side. Carter in the corner. A lot of time. They give it over to McMillan. And McMillan not coming to the ball and grabbing it. Here we go back the other way. Thompson puts it up right side. Coming down with it. It's Taylor back upside to Neal. Or pardon me, Shatara Lewis. And Lewis hits it. And the Panthers need a time out here. 39-31 the score. And uh, Coach Don Brown a little ticked off over there. Left side with it is Carter looking down low. They want to find Scott. They can't. Great pass over to Abs. Oh, man. Abs misses it terribly, and we're going back the other way. Hill, the Panthers just not hustling, not getting down, and the Panthers lucked up on that one. Here comes Abs, and Abs will have it. Back up top now, left side to Carter. Abs to McMillan, left side. To Carter. Abs looking down low. They want to get Larissa Scott involved, and they do. The left handed shot is good for two. Larissa Scott. Scott beckoning to her teammates. Come on, let's go. The Panthers down by six. Panthers still got a lot of time to play basketball here. Hill. Up top. Left side to Taylor. And Hill working the offense like a true point guard. Left side, wide open. 
is Lewis for three. No. Taylor snatches down the rebound. And Hill getting instructions from Nadine DeMond. Right side, Hill. Great pass inside. And Scott will tie it up with Thompson and all kinds of folks checking in. Uh, McGee and Overshawn for the Panthers, and we'll see for the Grambling State Tigers. 3.13 left to play, folks. Stick around. We'll take a, qu take a quick break and come back with more exciting Panther basketball. Yeah, the hard sports medicine. Of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedics, sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedics, sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View and from the field, the Panthers now losing the uh, rebounding war 33 to 27, but winning the points in the paint. 20 to 16, that's those second chance points the Grambling State Tigers are getting, and they've uh, hit 10 of those. Left side with it going back up is going to be Larissa Scott. And Scott can't hold on, and we'll, we'll come back the other way. 2,117 people watched the uh, Grambling State, no, not in the stands, dear, no, not by far, uh, watched the Grambling Prairie View game down in the Cotton Bowl. That's a lot of people. You didn't even go back and watch the game. Shame on you. We shout it out to you. 245 left to play, 39-33. Right side with it. Andrews with another three-point basket, a tie-up. And it's going to go uh, Grambling State way this time. And Cole has got to come in and get involved immediately. Cole uh, today with uh, only two points. For the Panthers leading scorer who averages 15 or is it six points I'm sorry Cole with uh, only six points for the Panthers tonight the ball hit the rim so uh, we'll get a first 30 with 237 left to play Neal gives it up to Hill Hill left side Andrews thought about the three and the Grand State Tigers very patient here Lewis to Neal, left side to Andrews, spotting for the three, gives it back up, Andrews wants it, good ball movement by the Tigers, down low, Thompson working, they get it right side to Neal, Neal just throws that one up, and Hill tries to volleyball tap it off the backboard, and uh, even Neal has to laugh at that, she's like, Neal said, man, what was that, that was something else. <laughs> And uh, up off the bench for the Lady Panthers, Alexis Parker. Overshawn comes out of the game. And will take a seat. And Andrews as well will check out for the Tigers. Checking in is going to be uh, Aaliyah Kennedy, the freshman from Virginia Beach, Florida. Good recruiting this year by Coach Nadine DeMond. Right side with it now is Cole. Cole looking in the corner, gives it up to Abs. Abs, that quick first step, gives it back to Cole. Cole drives, throws it in the corner. Parker from 20. Yes, it's good. Alexis Parker. 39-35, the Panthers. Oh, great defense by Monique Abs. Man, way to run the floor 
by Abs that time, snuck in and knocked it out of the hands of Shatara Lewis. 137 left to play. The Panthers down four. Neal, the back up top to Hill. Hill looking right side, gives it up to Ugl Lewis with a nice crossover. Puts it left side. Hill puts it in the corner to Neal. Neal from 15. Puts it in and out. No good. Parker comes away with it. And, man, Hill just hanging around the bucket, man. How many point guards you know that just like to hang around the bucket and get those trash rebounds? Hill doing a fantastic job there for the Tigers. She's tied uh, at halftime, rather. She was tied with her two teammates, uh, Thompson and Boyd, with five rebounds for the point guard. 113 left to play, 39-34. The Panthers with the ball now. Cole throws it in the corner. Parker puts it back up, has it knocked away. Scott gets it back to Parker. And a timeout call by Coach Don Brown as we near the fourth quarter. One minute left to play. We'll stay right here, folks, and tell you about the specialist at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Willowbrook. Are proud, are proud to be the official health care provider for Prairie View and the University Athletics and the title sponsor of tonight's game against the Tigers of Grambling State. Now, if you're a weekend warrior or you're just a student athlete or, you know, if you're Charles Porter, no, I'm just teasing, an elite level professional, uh, the board certified and fellowship trained physicians at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Willowbrook offer world-class care close to you. For more information, please visit HoustonMethodist.org. Uh, the bowling team will be in Houston on tomorrow, folks. For all you Panther fans listening and watching today, go to the, uh, the Palace Lanes Bowling Alley uh, on Bel Air Boulevard in Houston. That's Palace Lanes uh, Bowling uh, Palace Bowling Lanes, rather, uh, in, on Bel Air Boulevard uh, tomorrow for the Lady Jack Classic. That's the Stephen F. Austin Lady Jack Classic, and that's going to be the bowling tournament tomorrow. Good luck to Coach Glenn and the Lady Panthers, our reigning SWAC champions. And then, of course, on Monday, uh, exciting Panther basketball returns. So right here in the Baby Dome, the Tigers of Jackson State will be uh, in town to take on our Panthers. Hopefully, we can get Jordan Carroll on the broadcast. Called her several times. I guess she's just too busy to be a Panther. I don't know. Uh, one minute left to play, 39-35, folks. Don't want to get our friends over at the residence in. We'll talk about them in just a few minutes. And no, you can't come in uh, to Cara Parsons, to Kara Parsons. Now she can come in. And Scott's going to pick up uh, her second personal foul of the night. Well, uh, some uh, discussion. And something's going on. Travis and Bobby over there. Uh, chatting away. Um, Victoria just sitting over there, don't know what to do. They over there discussing what's going on. Well, never mind. We're, we're going to do it that way. Victoria Monet, a veteran Southwestern Athletic Conference official, my good friend, out there on the floor. Here comes uh, that uh, Shakila Hill, and I'm telling you, she's going to be a good one, folks. Remember that name for the Grambling State Tigers, the Panthers with a short half-court press. They throw it all the way over and throw it away and a one-handed pass by Kiana Jones and Coach Nadine Naman said, hey, two-handed pass, girl. What's wrong with you? That's exactly what she said. I'm just, I'm just mocking her. Panthers now with 29 seconds or 46 seconds on the shot clock, play clock, rather. Carter in trouble and a tie-up, and we'll go back the other way. Graham State just hustling out there. And they're going to call, uh, nope, going, going to the Tigers. New 30, now the Tigers uh, can play it. Hill coming around the right side, kicks it to Thompson in the corner, all the way up top to Andrews. Got to watch it. She can hit the three. Thompson with a good shot right inside, man, to Hill for two. Wow. 41-35, Panthers down six. 
Here comes Carter. Almost has it taken away. Ab spots for three. Hits the back of the iron. No. Scott can't get it. And now, with four seconds left, here comes Hill. Hill coming right side. Puts it up. And hits the backboard. She almost hit that one, folks. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. 41-35 to 35 to score. The Lady Panthers down. Let's step aside. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View. So it's only it's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose for you because I'm looking forward uh, to competing in the track with my teams. I chose for you because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to friend them. I wanted to come to an HPCU. We created a great experience that I would have never had. My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Caribbean because it's great academic. <laughs> New friends from all It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. We're back live here in the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 41 to 35, the Tigers on top by six. And uh, Shakila Hill, the freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas, is putting on a show for the Lady Tigers. Cole on the floor with Carter, Abs, Parker, and Scott, the Panthers' original starters. Cole looking left side. Oh, my goodness, looking for Parker in the corner. Parker not ready for it. And the Panthers with another turnover, 14 turnovers uh, apiece for both teams. So the Panthers are... are are turning it over just as many times as the Tigers. However, the Tigers winning with 17 points off of the Panthers' turnovers here. Left side with a quick jumper. From the left there is Parsons and the putback by Thompson. And that extends the lead to eight. Cole. Down low, giving it up now to Scott, right side, to Abs. Abs left corner now to Lamaria Cole. Cole, oh, great ball movement, takes it left side, tries to skip it in to Scott. The ball tip, oh, my goodness, and a foul called on Cole. That's going to be her second one, tripping uh, Parsons. Didn't do it intentionally, but man. That could have been tragic. That's going to be two on Lamaria Cole. And the third or second team foul, third team foul, I was correct for the Panthers. I need to stop looking at the board and go with my deal because I know I'll know what I'm talking about instead of cheating, but I'm, yeah. Okay. Right side with it is Thompson. Thompson shoots it up from 20 man. Now the Tigers turning it on here. The Panthers are going to have to go on a run. Carter gives it up to Thompson. And Thompson just takes it straight to the bucket. And McMillan fighting for it and gets it. Here comes Scott. Scott turning, twisting. Oh, great move. The turn around and put back no good. Scott with a great move there. And that one's going to go against uh, Brene Andrews. That's going to be her second personal and the uh, first team foul for Grambling State this quarter. Foul says to uh, number 12, Brene Adams. That's her second personal. 
Scott's first shot is away. It's no good. Checking back in for the Lady Panthers is going to be uh, Kayla Bell. Scott. Second shot is away. It's good. And we're going back the other way. Left side with it. Andrews will have it. Andrews coming around the right side. Finds a hole. Puts it up with a jumping, running hook. And it's good. And Gramlin State is a very impressive team here. Left side with it. Here comes Larissa Scott. Scott throwing it right side. Gives it up to Overshawn. Overshawn back up top now to Carter. Left side with it. Bell in the corner. Here comes Overshawn with a double pump off the glass. And it's blocked from behind. Hill now just slowing it up and uh, Nadine DeMond will just uh, play sit basketball four corners here and then uh, try to run some time off the clock. Skipping inside from Taylor now to Hill. Hill with eight seconds. Hill driving left side gives it up to Parsons from five. No. And the next rebound down by Bell. And that one's going to go against Parsons. That's going to be her second personal and the second team foul. And a uh, whole bunch of Panthers checking in uh, here. Um, Bina, uh, not Bina, pardon me, uh, McGee. Abs, Parker, and Cole will all check in for Coach Don Brown. The play for K Knight here and the baby don't. Everybody adorning their pink except uh, the Grandma State Tigers. <laughs> and Bill will uh, check out of the game or check into the game, and here comes Parker right out. Cole with it, right side, gives it up to Abs. Abs now over to McGee. Good pass. Cole slips. Bell with, oh, great pass down the, the baseline over to Larissa Scott. She misses, gets her own rebound, puts it back up, misses it again, and snatching it out is going to be Andrews. Here come the Lady Tigers. Hill in the corner, good movement. Andrews to Taylor. Back over to Andrews in the corner to Neal. And Hill with a great pass down the middle. Wow, man, the Tigers playing great. Janae Thompson puts it up easily off the backboard. And now the Tigers starting to run away with this one. 49-36 the score. Cold for three. Misses the misses it hits the side and no good and uh, Nadine is saying slow it down let's run some clock out of here <laughs> 13 point lead by the Tigers left corner wide open is Taylor for two now it's a 15 point lead and a foul on McGee down low, and that's going to be a, a foul. That's going to be three. Basket good, two fouls. Yeah, McGee's going to pick up one, and that's going to be her first personal. Overshawn will check in along with Parker. Thompson 
in the corner. Brings it around. Taylor from the same spot she just hit from. Puts it up no good, but gets her own rebound. Good hustle. Back up top, Lewis thought about the three. Now kicks it right side. Thompson will hold it. And Hill now is just going to run the offense. Taylor for two. No. McGee with a nice snatch of a rebound. And uh, McGee is going to be a, a good one for the Panthers, too. Here comes Overshawn. Left side gives it up to Cole. Cole on the baseline. Back outside. Parker thought about the three. Now steps inside. Thought about it from 20. Now gives it up to Cole. Here she comes. Cole going around, and he'll pick up a foul for the Tigers. It's going to be two on Shakila Hill. And the Panthers will have it. 4.27 left to play, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Review a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View and m University. Welcome back to the Baby Doll, ladies and gentlemen. 51 36 the score. The Panthers, man, really having it rough here. And, uh... G. Willikers, Panthers down by 15 with 4.27 left to play. They've got to really work to get over, but then can't do it like this, throwing the ball away as Cole was looking for McGee. The Panthers have turned the ball over again. The Tigers have scored 21 points off of the 18, call it 19 now, turnovers by the Lady Panthers, and that is going to be the key of the game right there. The Panthers just just shot poorly from the field and uh, just committed too many turnovers here tonight. Parker comes up with it. They throw it left side. Here comes Overshawn. Overshawn couldn't really get control of it. Scott trying to get the rebound and the tie-up from Scott and Hill. And Hill, uh, they're only calling her with five rebounds, but I counted seven for Hill on tonight as uh, Brene Andrews checks back in for the Tigers. With 3.49 left to play here in the final period. Taylor in the corner to Lewis. Now back up top. To Hill. The crossover, left side. Taylor with another 20-footer. No. She rusted, but Hill now. I call that eight rebounds for Hill. They'll call it six, but she's uh, snatched a couple of extra ones down. I don't think she's gotten credit for it. Kennedy throws it back right side. He'll just hold it wide open there is Lewis for two. No. And Parker picks up the foul. And uh, now the Tigers, I can't remember the last time the uh, Tigers beat the Panthers in our gym. The foul says to number 32, Alexis Parker is her first person. Thirty-six fifty-one. The score. 
First shot is away, it's good. Left side with it is Cole. She'll take it baseline. Parker from the right elbow. She'll pop it in for two. Alexis Parker. 243. Left to play. 38-51. Uh, just uh, a little too much Grand State Tiger here tonight. Andrews with it to Hill. Lewis. Kennedy. Andrews. Down low with, oh man, on the baseline is Hill, and Hill will be called for traveling, but uh, the way she's played tonight, she can have one miscue. 2.15 left to play. 51-38 the score. Left side with it is Cole. Back up top now to Parker, right side to Monique Abs. Two minutes left to play. Scott off the backboard, no good. Now the Panthers up are going to fall two losses in a row here. Uh, loss to Texas Southern by seven last week. And uh, starting off this homestand by losing to the Tigers here. 136 left to play. Up top with it. Kennedy, they give it back up now to Hill. <laughs> and uh, Hill will commit the uh, foul there, driving to the bucket. That's going to be two on Hill. Panthers with the turnover. That's three on Hill, pardon me. Cole will pick it up, and Andrews, riding Cole down the uh, sideline, will pick up her third personal. That's going to be five. Now the Panthers shooting two all the way. Cole will be at the line shooting two. The Panthers will be shooting two the entire way, uh, but... Uh, to no avail, Cole will pop that first one. Tory Carter will check in for the Panthers. Carter Jr. will uh, have one more year with the Lady Panthers. Uh, Red shirted last year with a knee injury. So uh, the Panthers will lose Larissa Scott and also Monique Abbs. Shamaya Brooks is an if to come back. But uh, Ariana McGee, Lenicky McMillan uh, will all return. Of course, we'll lose Cole and hopefully next year get back Rosier and we'll have McMillan. The Panthers have some uh, work to do. We got to beat the Bushes, get some players back down here. Cole. Coming to the right side. Back up top to Abs cross court. Abs will get it, step inside, shooting from 15, hits the side of the iron. No. Abs has been cold tonight. And we're under a minute here. You don't. Oh. I'm uh, beckoning uh, where I was trying to find out, folks, when the last time Grambling State uh, beat us here in the uh, baby dome. It's, it's been a while for sure. And uh, man, my hat's off to the Grand State Tigers. They played great. They had great hustle. Uh, they were a very well organized team and uh, the Panthers uh, uh, just didn't have any success against uh, this team. Uh, Grand State will pre push their record to eight and four. And uh, I tell you, my hat's off to the Lady Tigers for doing such a great job uh, against our Panthers here tonight. 
Folks, don't forget, coming up, exciting uh, men's action coming your way as the Tigers of Graham State take on our Panthers. The Panthers riding an emotional high after beating uh, arch rival Texas Southern last week right here in the Baby Dome. Coach Byron Smith got his first win of the year and uh, hopes to, to get that winning streak to going here as the Panthers get ready to take on a two-game homestand. The Tigers tonight and the Tigers of Jackson State on Monday. Just all kinds of Tigers. Had TSU Tigers last week. Graham State Tigers. Can can some people in the swag get some different uh, mascots? We got Tigers, Panthers, Lions, Tigers and Bears. Oh my. Okay, no. And that's going to wrap it up. Uh, the Panthers get a rebound, but uh, to Noah Ville Abs will shoot it and miss it terribly. Golly gee. And a foul on the Tigers. That's going to go against 25. That's Aaliyah Kennedy with the foul for Graham State. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not calling anymore. <laughs> the 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 crew here is laughing now. They're saying, "Yeah, poor the golly gee willikers." Three seconds left, and that's going to do it here, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Lady Tigers of Graham State defeat the Panthers here on our home court by the score of 51. Uh, to 44. Stick around. We'll take a quick break and come back with our post-game report. This is exciting Panther basketball. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View. So it's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, "Hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes." It's great. It's very family-oriented. I chose for you because I'm looking forward uh, to competing in the track with my teams. I chose for you because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to further my education. I wanted to come to an HPCU. We created a great experience and that I would have never had. My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. Uh, I chose Caribbean because of its great academic Being a leader for my teammates and You get to make new friends from all over. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity.
Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The Lady Panthers manhandled really rough, 51 to 44. I'm um, here with head coach Don Brown. Coach, the Lady Panthers just it really didn't seem like they were in in sync tonight. They shot 32 percent from the field, 30 uh, percent, pardon me, from the field for the entire game. Uh, we missed a lot of shots. We made a lot of turnovers. Um, 21 turnovers a piece with, a piece with both teams. Um, 21 points in the paint with both teams. But the Panthers were out rebounded uh, by 10, 45 to 35. We, we've got to do a little bit better job of getting it uh, in the rebounding category. Well, you know, the main thing is is that you know uh, when you when you're able to hit shots and you're able to to score the basketball, it can kind of cover up some of those deficits. And Lady Panthers, um, you know, we do a good job as far as teaching rebounding and teaching those concepts. But that's just been that's been our struggle this year as far as just rebounding is concerned because we lack size. But when you're able to hit shots, you're able to cover up for it. So I just think that tonight with with our starters, between five we only had 24 people, 24 points, and um, you know we weren't able to, to to get going offensively. I think we had a phenomenal second period, but in the third and fourth we went cold, we went ice cold, and and you can't win ball games right now this late in the season. Back in February, mid February, and you're only you know being able to score not even 20 points in 20 minutes of basketball. Yeah, Larissa Scott uh, uh, came in a little late. Uh, came in in the, I think first part of the second quarter. Uh, got off to a slow start and then started picking it up. Uh, Lamar Cole never got going, and, and that's what we need. And, and Alexis Parker uh, didn't give us the point production that we needed, and, and that's the key, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Cole and 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 uh, and Parker are, are our bread and butter, and they've got to score the bucket when they're out there. Well, Nikki McMillan came in and did a good job. Taylor Overshawn is doing great. I'm really proud of her. She's scrappy. She's getting rebounds. She's taking some ill-advised shots. I saw you over there. But uh, Taylor Overshawn is doing real well, folks. We're still rather short staff. Only really, uh, what, 9, 11, 10 players on the ten. team? 10 players on the team with the addition of two uh, last week. We were down, ladies and gentlemen. It's just been tough uh, this season. We lose Chelsea Rozier. We can't bring back Shamaya Brooks. And, and it's been tough. But the Lady Panthers, one thing I'll tell you about them. Uh, they have some resilient coaches, and they're a resilient team, folks. So don't you count the Panthers out, because uh, they're going to get it together, get back to the drawing board, get ready for your alma mater, Jackson State. Now, that's a that's a whole nother horse uh, in the stall for you. What's going to happen uh, on Monday? Well, the main thing is we'll go back and review the film, review this film, and, and definitely watch it. But the biggest thing is, is that, you know, sometimes in, in a coaching seat, in a coach's perspective, sometimes you want losses like this, because that way you can go back and review visit you can refocus and you can and you really can really uh, go back and assess the situation so where you know that you're gonna have to really put the work in now in order to continue to have a championship uh, at, at the end of the season so you know I can't think we got to be able to look at something positive out of this and that's what we're gonna be able to take out of it as, as we got to get prepared and moving forward throughout the rest of the remainder of the season well ladies and gentlemen the Panthers take on Jackson State this Monday you can catch all the play-by-play -play and color with yours truly uh, my counterpart uh, Jonathan Stribling off to New Mexico we work uh, in the oil industry, and we're safety advisors. So when they call us and something's yeah. going down, either he's got to go or I got to go. And so we, we had to send jobs. So I hadn't seen you him. miss miss the game, so you don't go. Well, you I send the other one. I'm, I'm the boss, so I could I could do that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Coach, thanks for for stopping by. Thank we you. wish you all the luck. We, we're really still really behind the Lady Panthers. Don't get them too bad this uh, this afternoon, oh, but yeah. uh, we've got to get back to the drawing board and get back into the Panthers winning ways. Stick around, folks. Exciting men's action. Coming your way, the Grand State Tigers in town. The men's action up in about 10 minutes. Stick around. This is exciting. Panther basketball. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View. So it's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose me because I'm looking forward to competing in the SWAC with my teams. I chose for you because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to friend the I wanted to come to an HPCU. We created a great experience and that I would have never my favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. 
I chose Caribou because of his great academic Being a leader for my teammates and He gets to make new friends from it's all It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is, you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. And I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in, and so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are, actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom, 
and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to, and I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the students. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are, actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in, and so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the students. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction.
have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View A&M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. 
here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View a &M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine. Enjoy the seat heating functionality, keeping them warm during the winter months. With high-intensity discharge headlights illuminating your path, you'll always appreciate maximum visibility. For drivers who enjoy the natural environment, a power moonroof allows an infusion of fresh air. Audio features include a CD player with MP3 capability and 17 speakers, providing world-class sound throughout. Hyundai also prioritized safety and security by including front and rear side impact airbags, a security system, an emergency communication system, and four-wheel disc brakes with AVS. Stop by our dealership or give us a call for more information. Outstanding design defines the 2015 Hyundai Equus. This four-door, five-passenger sedan stands out among competitors in its class. It features an automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive, and a five-liter eight-cylinder engine. A wealth of standard features mean that you no longer have to sacrifice, such as cruise control, a blind spot monitoring system, power door mirrors and heated door mirrors, lane departure warning, and remote keyless entry. Rear passengers enjoy the seat heating functionality, keeping them warm during the winter months. With high intensity discharge headlights illuminating your path, you'll always appreciate maximum visibility. For drivers who enjoy the natural environment, a power moonroof allows an infusion of fresh air. Audio features include a CD player with MP3 capability and 17 speakers, providing world-class sound throughout. Hyundai also prioritized safety and security by including front and rear side impact airbags, a secure... And now the starting lineup for the Tigers of Grammy 6. Starting at guard, a junior from New York, New York, number zero, Irvin Mitchell. Starting at forward, a junior from Staten Island, New York, number one, Michael Matea. Starting at guard, a junior from Coco Beach, Florida, number three, Deontay Hearns. Starting at guard, a junior from Boston.
It was an athletic conference matchup, man. The Lady Panthers had a rough time falling uh, to the Lady uh, Tigers of Grambling State, 51 to 44. You know, I'm a true Panther, bleed purple and gold, but I gotta give my uh, hats off to the uh, Tigers of Grambling State. The Lady Tigers, Coach Nadine uh, Demond, is doing a fantastic job, folks. And uh, just just to let you know, uh, uh, there's a young lady on that team, and, and her number is five. And don't forget that number, and don't forget Shakila Hill because she is going to be a superstar in this conference. She led it all the all the way uh, with 16 points, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds. She's going to be a good one in the Southwestern Athletic Athletic Conference. About to get this one underway. The Tigers led by uh, Deontay Hill and Nigel Ribeiro. Here we go. Hello. Let's play basketball. And the Panthers control the tip over to Bellinger. Bellinger quickly to Jaron Johnson starting it off. Hits the side of the iron. No good. And a quick foul already from the left side. And that one's going to go against uh, Jack Aquija. And I said that correctly, Terry. Kind of like uh, on Wakamuche. Let's see, huh? Aquija will pick up his first personal foul. Bellinger with it back up top now to Lomax. Lomax will run the offense. Here comes Zachary Hamilton, left side over to Bellinger. Looking down low, couldn't find uh, Lomax on the motion offense. Here we go back now. We're down to six seconds. We got to do something with it. Johnson for three. Hits the front of the iron. No good. The Panthers with two offensive rebounds in a row. Good job by the Panthers in a fresh 30. Back up top right side. Johnson looking down low. Finds it. Masu Williams. He wants to work on that right block. Left side with it. Wide open is Bellinger. Bellinger loses it. And the Panthers have a mad scuffle for it. Johnson will get it down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Aguizu, they've got him listed at 6'11". I doubt it. Uh, but at least 6'8 for sure. Left corner now to Hamilton. He has to just put it up from the side of the iron. Hits the side of the rim. No good. And we'll go back the other way. Here comes Hearns with it. Hearns into the hands now of Chase Comier. Comier, the junior from... Uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Is it Comier or Comore? If he's in Louisiana, Comier? Okay, I'm right. He must be from his people. He's he from Baltimore, Maryland, but his people from Louisiana. That's for sure. Here we go back the other way. Jaron Johnson over now to Zachary Hamilton. Looking back left side. Gives it up to Johnson. Now back up top to Bellinger. Bellinger wants to work. Left elbow. Gives it up to Masu Williams with a reverse layup. Yes, it's good for two. And Masu Williams for two. 18-15 left to play. The Panthers draw first blood with a two-pointer. Comier bringing it across the timeline. Right side gives it up to Mitchell. And Mitchell flagged for the charging violation. And that's going to be his first personal and the second team foul. The ball says to the Mitchell does his first personal and second team foul. Panthers. Up two to nothing here, 18.06 left to play. Right side with it, Johnson to Hamilton to Bellinger. Panthers moving it around pretty good. Hamilton up top, gives it up. Now to Lomax, uh-oh, to Johnson. And that's gotta be a foul on number one. Yeah, he's pushing him back, Mitchell Bethea with a uh, foul. That's going to be three team fouls now for the Tigers. Well, with 17.50 left to play Terry in the first quarter, the Tigers getting very dangerously close to uh, getting in some trouble uh, and some foul trouble here. No, I, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. As long as you know what I was talking about. Here comes Hamilton. Tries to thread the needle into it. Masu Williams and Irvin will get it and we'll go back the other way. Here comes Comier looking right side. Gives it up now to Irvin Mitchell. Mitchell thought about the three. Skips it down low to Hearn. Hearn turning and twisting. Back out to Comier. Left side with it. Here comes uh, Bethea. Bethea loses it. Akwuje. Akwuje gets it. And here comes the Panthers on the fast break. Lomax left side. Here comes Masu Williams. Puts it off the glass for two. And Masu Williams. 
Panthers. Trying to keep that winning streak alive after a, a huge win against Texas Southern. Uh, last week, Texas Southern was 9-1, or 9-0, and oh, and now they're 9-1. Akwiju puts it up for two. Akwiju. Bellinger gets it right side to Jackson, uh, pardon me, Johnson, left side now to Lomax. Down low, Edmasu Williams wants to work on that right block, working on Jack Akwiju. In trouble, gives it back up. Looking for my main man, Montreal Williams to come in here. And another foul, two quick ones now on Michael Batea. He's going to have to sit here in a minute. He's got his hands up, but he's moving with him, which created the foul there. That's four fouls for the Grambling State Tigers in the first three minutes of play. The Tigers have got to be careful. They'll be in the bonus here soon. Up top with it is Bellinger. Now he gives it up to Lomax, and here we go. Johnson left side to Bellinger. Oh, he just throws it way, way too far to uh, 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 Jaron Johnson on the curl coming up for the alley-oop. Coach Byron Johnson uh, up off the feet, off his, out of his seat. What is that? Did you hear him, folks? I, I told him I didn't know. Comier up top right side, gives it up to Irvin, now left, or pardon me, to Deontay Hearns. Mitchell, left side back to Comier. The Panthers in a 2-3 zone. Mitchell kicks it down to Hearns. He wants to work. Puts it up. Great follow-up there by Akwize. Tied at four here. Panthers uh, getting a lot of lather up here real quickly, to quote Coach Jerome Francis. Get your lather up. Here comes left side with it now is Lomax. Wants to work on Comier. Good pick. Puts it back over. Oh, man. Tried to give it back up to it. Masu Williams. Can't. Here we go back the other way. Here comes Batea. Batea coast to coast. And a blocking foul uh, called on count the bucket and called on Avery Lomax. And that's going to take us to our first media timeout, ladies and gentlemen. 15-17 left to play here in the first half. The Panthers down by two, six. One team is to win. One team is to lose. Team is to lose. How we play? How we play? It's how we choose. It's how we choose. Let our arms. Let our arms be strong and high. Be strong and high. And let he set. And let he set. Be first to 25. Be first to 25. the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter coming to you courtside uh, solo. Jonathan Stripling on his way to Carlsbad, New Mexico. And, uh, man, I tell you, we had planned such this wonderful pregame and, and, and halftime show for you with all of the slides and everything, and then uh, we got a call and uh, just kind of messed it all up for us, folks. We apologize. We're going to hopefully uh, get to see Jonathan these last couple of games uh He's got a, a three-week project down there, and when when he leaves, then I'll be going for three weeks. So it's going to be tough, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for softball season. But don't forget, exciting women's softball coming your way. I really love softball, and we have a lot of fun out there. So check the schedule on pvpanthers.com. Come out and support the Lady Panthers softball team. 
Right side with it, Bellinger on the curl, brings it back to the wing, gives it up now to Hamilton. Hamilton shaking, bacon turning, shaking, gives it back up now to Bellinger. Down low, tries to find Giddings, Jordan Giddings, uh, down low, and Giddings with some uh, good movement. Gets down there and knocks it away, and checking in now for the Panthers, Devontae, Judd Dante Blakely. Well, mass substitutions, uh, Ribeiro for the Tigers, along with uh, Mark Gray and Arnold Richmond and Dante Blakely will check in for the Panthers. Right side with Giddings and Blakely out there doing a good job. Up top with it now is Lomax. He'll stay on the floor along with Hamilton and and uh, Edmasu Williams. Williams with a great shot under the bucket. It's good for two. Edmasu and uh, Edmasu has uh, all the points for the Panthers here so far. 14-19 left to play in the first half. Handling the ball is going to be Arnold Richmond. Richmond in trouble. The Panthers all over him. Great defense. Right side with it is Ribeiro. Gets it in the corner. Masu Williams knocks it away. And now working the baseline. That time was Mark Gray. They'll kick it back out and missing it terribly is Ribeiro. And we'll go back the other way. And Sean Walker didn't like that one. Right side with it. Here comes Giddings with a dribble drive off the bucket. Off the backboard. It's good for two. Good. Top with it, coming left side with it is Arnold Richmond. And a push on on Richmond pushed away, or is that 10 seconds? No, 10 second violation uh, by the uh, Tigers. And up off the bench, here comes Karim York for the Panthers, the senior from Austin, Texas. You know, we talk about Karim York all the time with that nasty left hand, a uh, five foot hook shot. It's just unstoppable. And if he can stay in the paint to get it instead of, you know, winning out to try to shoot the three, uh, I, I tell you, we'd be a really, really tough team. Right side with it now is Blakely. Plenty of time down to 16. They give it down low on the block now to Karim York. York wants that jump left hook off the glass. No. He's 6'11, so I mean, you know, it's not hard for him to post up and turn around and shoot. He's just a little light. Left side with it. Ribeiro throws it out of bounds. And here comes, here comes uh, the guy that can jump out of the gym. Charleston Dubs. We call him Super Hops. I mean, this guy can jump out of the gym for real. Uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll get a shot here with one of those thundering dunks. Here comes Giddings, right side with it. Giddings gives it up now to Lomax. Lomax now up top, left side on the wing to Johnson. Back up top to Lomax. He'll start it over. 8-6 to score. Dobbs. Back up to Lomax with the turnaround. Jumper in the paint. It's good for two. Nasty. 10-6 to score. Lomax now trying to play like a point guard should. Left side with it. Urban Mitchell going up, and that's going to be the first foul for the Panthers. That's going to go against number 22, Charleston Dobbs, who gets in, and the only thing about Dobbs is he is foul prone, so he picks up his first personal, and that's going to send Urban Mitchell to the charity stripe for uh, free throws. Mitchell pretty good from the free throw line, 93%. He hit it. And uh, Mitchell, we uh, jinxed him, missed the second one. He was 14 of 15 uh, coming into uh, tonight's contest. Uh-oh, wrong stat, folks. Mitchell, 67%, uh, pardon me, uh, 48 of 71 coming in uh, to tonight's contest. The Panthers score the bucket here, up by five, 12 to seven. Full court press. 
working. As Mark, great travel, no call. Right side to Mitchell, he'll shoot it for three, in and out. Johnson will come with it. Here come the Panthers with a little fire. Johnson coming left side, gives it up to Lomax, and Lomax now over to Giddings. Giddings drives the bucket, puts it up with the right hand, off the glass. No. Dobbs not in position to get the rebound. Left side, Ribeiro with it. Oh, pardon me, that's Mark Richmond. And then back up top to Ribeiro, and he'll hit it for two. Here comes Giddings. Giddings. Uh, and a push uh, on the Tigers of Grandman State, folks. That one's going to go against number three, Deontay Hearns. That's going to be his first personal. And the fifth team foul. We'll take a break here. Step aside and come back with more exciting Panther basketball. Psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View and m University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Six to four, winning the rebounding war. Four to five, one more turnover is Gramlin State and the Panthers uh, winning the battle in the paint. Eight to four. Here comes Johnson, right side. Johnson wide open, now stops, spots from 15, hits the side of the iron, no good. Wait, up there was Zachary Hamilton, and he loses it out of bounds. But man, was he way, way up there trying to get that rebound? Ribeiro will give it up now to Arnold Richmond. Richmond in trouble, drops it. That would have been a, that should have been a double dribble, but no call. Richmond will have it again. Coming left side, going around the back. And they're going to call that one on Johnson with the body. Got a little bit too much on in there. It's going to be his first personal. And the second team foul. It should be the third team foul, right? Yeah, I thought I was right, Johnson. <laughs> Here we go, right side, quick pass, Comier up top now, gives it up. Here comes Deontay Hearns, Hearns loses it, and we're going back the other way. Here comes Blakely, right side. Back over to Hamilton. Oh, into the hands of Johnson. He'll put it up softly. No, Blakely will get it off the glass for two. Well, the Panthers up 14-9. Comier. Coming right side and floating in there is going to be Nigel Ribeiro. Or pardon me, yeah, Nigel Ribeiro for two. York. Get to that. And it's out of bounds. Right 
right side with it. And Nolan Jackson, I parked Nolan Jackson, my goodness. Nolan uh, Wilson is all over the back. You'll pick up his first personal. Yugar Horton, a junior from Istanbul, Turkey. Bet you he's having a lot of fun at Grammar State. Um, checked in for the Panthers. And that's Charleston Dobbs. And I, as I said, folks, uh, Dobbs checking in. He's very foul prone. And that's going to send uh, Deontay Hearns to the charity strike. The ball says number 22. Charleston Dobbs is the second person. Hearns is going to shoot two. And Masu Williams will check back in for the Panthers, and uh, Dobbs will, will come right out. Second shot is away, no good. Hamilton will have it right side. Gives it up now to Wilson. Now to Hamilton over to Johnson and we'll just work the floor. Blakely. Coming right side, dumps it down low to Williams and pushing in the back and picking up his third foul is Michael Bethea. And that's going to be three on Bethea and five team fouls for the Tigers. This is third Well, I've got Bethea down for for two. One, two, three, four. I'm missing two. And uh, back up top with it now is going to be Avery Lomax. Lomax now over to Hamilton, down with 10 seconds. Hamilton wants to force that one. And Masu Williams with a strong rebound, and it's taken away by Ugar Portum. Comier now to run the offense. Puts it back up right side, gives it up. Ribeiro gets it on the baseline. Irvin Mitchell trying to go up and uh, runs into a wall called Wilson. And now here comes uh, Johnson. In the corner, wide open. Lomax for three. No, Wilson couldn't grab the rebound, and we're going back the other way. The Panthers only up two now. 14 to 12. Gray has it, backs it out. Gray in trouble, shoots it in to Comier. Left side, wide open. Is Ribeiro for three. He'll fake the three-pointer, drive in, and put it high off the glass for two. And now we're tied at 14. Johnson right side, looking across court. Gives it up to Hamilton. Thought about the drive. Now backs it out to the circle. Gives it up left side to Lomax. Lomax trapped in the corner, in trouble. Gets it, puts it up from 15, hits the side of the iron, no good. Oh, man, Johnson gets it. And Nolan Wilson gets away with one right there, throwing Ribeiro to the floor. And Sean Walker has a legitimate uh, has a legitimate argument there. And uh, we're going to turn this one into a full timeout. 7.31 left to play. The Panthers are up by two, 16 to 14. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity.
University. We have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View A&M University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. We're back live here in the Baby Dome. Jordan Giddings trying to sneak back in here quickly. The Panthers uh, on top of the Tigers by two. The Panthers down on January the 16th as uh, Mitchell gets one uh, stricken to the to the bucket. Uh, got away with the one 63 to 60. The Panthers, from what I understood, should have won that game, uh, but but lost it on a three pointer. Uh, to the Graham and State Tigers and lost on the three-pointer to Jackson State in Mississippi. Hamilton with the turnaround. Yeah, he got a lot of hand on that one, boss. And uh, that one's going to go against uh, Ugar Hor Hortum uh, with the foul. That's going to be his first personal. And the seventh team foul. No, that's a shooting foul. That's a shooting foul, yeah. That foul is his first personal. Hamilton's first shot is away. It's good. Blakely and Giddings will check in for Purview and M. Giddings and Blakely will check in for Panthers. Hamilton's shot is away. Second one. It's good. Giddings, or rather, Comier loses it. Blakely puts it up. We can't find it, but Blakely's going to chase it down, and Giddings will get it. Masu Williams was streaking through the paint. He wanted it, but uh, Giddings didn't see him. Now Giddings looking for him, can't find him. Gives it back up top. Now Hamilton over to Lomax. will set it back up plenty of time on the shot clock. Giddings to Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton with a nice move, but he can't find the hole. And here we go back the other way. Blakely with a silly foul. And that's going to be uh, the second foul, the first foul on Blakely and the uh, seventh foul for the Panthers. Okay, fifth foul for the Panthers. Okay, get it right. It's the sixth team foul for the Panthers. One more, they'll be in the bonus. Trapped is Urban Mitchell. He gets out of trouble, puts it up with a running jumper. No good. Comier tries to sneak, sneak it away from Blakely. And he traveled, no call. Urban Mitchell will get it back. And a blocking foul on Blakely. And that's going to be his second foul. Wow. It's two on Blakely, and that's going to put us in the bonus. At the bottom of session number 25, Dante Blakely has his second personal and 17th foul. Mitchell and Mark. Shooting a one and one, and he misses it. Coming up off the bench now for the Panthers, Jock Akwija. Up top with him now is Lomax, right side to Johnson. The tied at 18 here, all the Panthers. And Johnson tries to, to dribble. 
between two players. And uh, we need 15 seconds on the shot clock. And that's going to be Grambling State ball. Okay, well, check that. They're going to give it back to the Panthers. Aguije and Carlton Lowell will check in for Grambling State. Check in for the Tigers. Jack Aguije and Carlton Lowell. Top to Johnson with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Got a lot of time to give it over to Hamilton. Back to Johnson. Johnson with the dribble drive now, way up there, puts it up for two. All the way right side. Here's the Tigers. They give it up now to Deontay Hearns. Hearns back up top, gives it up to Ribeiro. In the corner, wide open for three was Carlton low, no can do, and here come the Panthers. Hamilton from the right elbow, wide open. Oh, in and out, no good. Ribeiro to Comier with a left hand hander, and a charging violation on Comier, and we'll go back the other way. Well, coach is telling Kareem York to get in the game. He's sitting there out on a cloud 36. G. Wilkers. Right side with it now is York. Up to Johnson. Johnson's fouled that time. Slapped on the hand by Carlton Lowe. Nope, they're going to get that to 11. Well, Arnold Richmond was there, but Carlton Lowe was the slapper. Well, they'll give it to him anyway. One uh, additional foul on the Panthers will be shooting two all the way from the Grand State Tigers. Irving Mitchell will check back in for the Tigers. Jaron Johnson's first shot is away. It's good. Second shot is away. It's good. Long pass down over to Hearns. Hearns loses it. And we're going back the other way. Lomax loses it, gets it back over to Giddings. Giddings uh, decided we're going to bring this one out. He tight ropes the sideline, gives it up to Johnson right side, wide open is Lomax. Here comes Lomax left side, wide open. Giddings for three. Looks good. No. Williams, though, fighting for the rebound, puts it up, and he's going to be fouled. Jock Aguije got him on the shoulder. Oh, my goodness. Aguije's the fouler. Come on, ref. They're going to give that one over to Arnold Richmond. And that's 10 fouls. The Panthers shooting two all the way. That's all says to number 11, Arnold Richmond. That's his second personal number 10. Team foul. Uh, Williams and Ryan shooting two. Williams' first shot is away. It's good. I'm surprised we haven't got any uh, uh, communication from our friends over in Santa Monica, California. The... At Masu Williams crew, they're not chatting with us today, but I want to send a uh, shout out to the country. Miss Dominguez is watching without uh, with yours truly coming solo. Yeah, you already know. It's lonely at the top. 404 left to play as the Panthers can't capitalize on the second free throw. 23-18 though. The Panthers almost stole that one away. Mitchell traveled, no call. Right side with it is Ribeiro. Over to Arnold Richmond. Now in the corner, here comes Mark Gray. He'll kick it back outside. Left side now to Richmond. Richmond to Ribeiro. Ribeiro almost loses it. Down to eight seconds. They're going to have to do something with it. And they lose it. 
And here comes uh, Avery Lomax. Knocking it out of bounds with some good defenses. Ribeiro and the final media timeout. Coach uh, Byron Smith likes it. We love it. 3.32 left to play here in the first period of play. The Panthers on top, 23 to It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only. It's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose for you because I'm looking forward uh, to of competing the great with Black, with my team. Yeah, I'm playing baseball for the school. I chose Prairie View because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to friend of mine. I to come to an HPCU. We create a great experience. Uh, I that I would have never My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA, a 3.8. I chose Caribbean because of its great academic Being a leader for my teammates and You get to make new friends from all of them. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. Welcome back to the Baby Dome. Charles Porter coming to you courtside. 332 left to play. And the Panthers are up 23 to 18. Uh, the Panthers uh, doing decent. Uh, 9 of 25, 36% from the field. However, the Grand State Tigers doing pretty good. 8 of 15. However, the Panthers are winning the points in the paint. 14 to 10. They've got 11 points off of 10 Grandman State turnovers. And they're winning the rebounding. War 16 to 11. And Maso Williams leads all scores with seven. Lomax looking down low, trying to find Williams. Does Williams on the left block puts it up off the glass? Oh, and they caught him from traveling with a good move. And Charleston Dobbs comes off the bench with two fouls. Giddings to work on Ribeiro. We'll give it up to Richmond to get it across the timeline. Ribeiro now right side to Richmond looking in the corner. Trying to find Deontay Hearns. Ribeiro to Richmond dribbling between some uh, defenders over to Karim York. And York, yeah, not looking. And it's called for the foul. That's going to be his first personal. And the 10th team foul. Two forty nine left to play here in the first, ladies and gentlemen. Arnold Richmond in trouble. Gives it up to Ribeiro. Ribeiro left side. The Panthers still on top, 23-18. Back out now to Richmond. Richmond kicks it left side in the corner. They dump it down low. And Charleston Dobbs with the push in the back. And that's going to be three on Charleston Dobbs. And the Panthers now with nine team fouls. And he wasn't shooting, uh, but they're in the penalty. Gray shot away. It's good. Chase Comier will check back in. Arnold Richmond. to take a seat. Comier's first shot of the way was good. Here comes number two. And it's good. Johnson, oh, with a hop skip move. Puts it up no good. And a lot of time uh, was left on the clock. Now the Tigers down by three and tied now with Mark Gray's three-point shot.
Giddings has it on the wing, looking down low, can't find Abbasu Williams. He'll set the pick, though. Here comes Giddings now, driving towards the bucket, puts it up with the right hand, puts it off, no good. Williams battling for it. It's Hamilton snatching it and putting it back up, no good. Hamilton getting it back, over the back, all over the back of Mark Gray. But uh, no call, and they uh, say it was knocked out of bounds on the Panthers, and Nolan Wilson will come in. That's a good move there by Byron. Smith there as uh, Wilson in danger of getting another foul called on him over there. Comier. Left side. Shoots it down to Mark Gray. Back up top to Ribeiro. And left side to Irvin Mitchell. No. And here comes the Panthers. Giddings thought about it. Right side now to Jaron Johnson. A minute 14 left to play here in the first half. Comier trying to make up some ground. They turn it, gives it in to Hamilton. The turnaround jumper from the left elbow. It's good. Comier. We'll have it. We're under a minute. The Panthers up by two. The Tigers with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Down low to Mark Gray. And one as Wilson's going to be flagged for the foul. It's going to be Wilson's uh, second personal. Both teams in the bonus. Gray's first shot is away, or first and only shot. The three-point attempt is away. It's good. And now the Tigers up one with 40 seconds left to play in the first half. Left side with it. Now it's Lomax. On the baseline is Lomax down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Here comes Zachary Hamilton, and we can't find the hole. He traveled, no call. And now the Tigers will play for the last shot with uh, 14 seconds left. 26-25 the score. Comier, left side, gives it up to Nigel Ribeiro, and there's a whistle call. And that one's going against Edmasu Williams. And that's going to be Williams' second personal or first? It's his first personal. I thought he had one earlier. It's going to be a Williams' first personal. Gray shot is away. It's good. 27-25. The Grand State Tigers. Three and eight in conference play, six and 17 in the SWAC after going a year without winning a game last year. And uh, significant improvement by coach Sean Walker. We've got Prairie View's finest over here guarding, uh, guarding yours truly over at the table. You better be careful, I'll call my security detail. And that's gonna do it, the Panthers shoot one up and uh, to no avail, 27-25. Yeah, I'm talking about you on the radio. 27-25, the score. The Tigers up by two, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We'll take a break and come back with more exciting Panther basketball. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know meet people who are actually in this who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. 
Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom, and students soak in every.
it's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only It's way. just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose for you because well, you're uh, of the great coaching with my yeah, teams. I chose for every because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to come to an HBCU. We created a great experience and that I would have never My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Caribbean because of its great academic Being a leader for my teammates. You get to make new friends from all It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only way. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is, you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment, guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to, and I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the students. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to, you know, meet people who are actually in this who are actually in the fields I'm interested in. And so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside, in nature's classroom, and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover, and you're just so exhausted because we do so much, and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do, which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations, or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, 
and how important it is, you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment, guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife. Maybe inspired. Hey, folks, welcome back to uh, the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, so often so many people behind the scenes uh, go uh, um, unrecognized, ladies and gentlemen. And I just got to recognize uh, our crew back here, Jason Thibodeau, uh, Charles Toller, of course, uh, the, the old school cat of the table is Terry Burks. Uh, also, man, we've got a great group of students uh, helping us out there uh, with Ryan McGinty. Uh, we've got uh, Alex. <laughs> Uh, Alex uh, uh, Goodwin, uh, his father is a, a professor uh, is a professor here at uh, uh, Prairie View, and then Professor Goodwin. Also, we've got uh, Perry Thompson, who is also a communication major, and uh, uh, Sabrina, Jabrina, pardon me, uh, Campbell Youssef are all behind the scenes, uh, working hard, working the camera, working the mixer, and of course our technical director, uh, Michael Michael West, and uh, 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 our our security detail. T. Brooks. T. Brooks over here. She handling, handling up over here. That's our beautiful security guards. I tell you, we're so fortunate. All right, let's get this one underway, folks. The Panthers down by two, shooting 52% uh, from the field in the first half while the Grandma State Tigers, pardon me, let me change that, 33% while the Tigers shot 52%. The Panthers are uh, winning the rebound uh, war, though, 20 uh, to 14. The Panthers with 14 uh, points in the paint and 11 points off of the 10 Grambling State turnovers. The Panthers should be on top, but have let a couple of them get away, and now the Panthers let another one get away. That's the first turnover here of the second half. Quickly, Tevin Bellinger comes out, and uh, Jordan Giddings will, will check back in. The Panthers down by two. We need a good win here, ladies and gentlemen. want to send a shout-out to Dallas, Texas, to my friend brother Warren Hill. Checking in. I told him, man, go on and, and log on and talk on the chat. Quick pass down low. Hearns gives it up left side. Mitchell couldn't find it. Now Hearns with a turnover and a tie up. Uh, I thought he traveled. Uh, but to no avail, we'll go back the other way. Now, Tevin Bellinger, after uh, a slight chew, will uh, get, get back in the game for the Panthers. Mark Gray up off the bench for Coach Sean Walker. Johnson down low to Edmasu Williams. He's got one foul, goes back up. He slapped on the hand, and he'll go to the charity stripe. Foul that time by Chase Comier uh, coming around the right side, slapped him on the hand, and uh, that one's going to be called on the ground. And uh, the Tigers with their first team foul. Johnson for three. Wow, that's good. Boy, I, I tell you, we would love to see him heat up here in this second half. 1842. A lot of time left here on the clock. The Panthers take the lead by one. Comier kicks it right side, gives it up to Mark Gray now over to Akwije. And Akwije on the line is going to be fouled by Johnson. Yeah. It's going to be two on Jaron Johnson. It's going to be the second team foul. All the way up top now to Urban Mitchell. Right side to Comier. Comier working on the right wing. Kicks it left side to Michael Matea. Matea with three fouls. Thought about the three. Now steps in from the left elbow. And Lomax flagged for the foul. It's going to be two for uh, Avery Lomax. Two team fouls now for the Panthers. And uh, Matea will be going to the line to shoot free throws. That ball says two. Number two, 
shot is away. It's good. Not a lot of folks in the Baby Dome like I would hope there would be after a win uh, over TSU, over Texas Southern last week, Terry. Uh, you think it's a 1,000 people in here? Not quite. Not quite a thousand. Well, maybe. Maybe a thousand. It's Valentine's. Valentine's weekend. That's right. The guys were, oh, well, y'all act like y'all a bunch of sweethearts or uh, sweeties or something over here. Johnson for three, no. And we'll go back the other way. Johnson's got to be careful. Mark Gray for three, no. Masu Williams takes it from uh, Zachary Hamilton, and here we go. Williams puts it up, and Akwije will pick up the personal foul. That's going to be two on Jack Akwije, the junior from Melbourne, Australia. You know, you, you know you're working with a veteran crew when they step out and they make sure that the announcer Point and tell me how many fouls to call. Yeah, I've been working with with these guys for a long time. Well, these two for a long, long time. Our officials for tonight: uh, Mickey Cunningham, Joe Wilbert, and Danny Chance. Danny Chance and Mickey. I've been working with those two guys for a long time. Thirty twenty-nine. The Panthers only up by one. Tigers with it. Gray gives it up to Comier. He has it uh, tipped away, and here comes the Panthers. Hamilton, left side, gives it up to Johnson. Johnson steps back from 15. Oh, yeah, he's starting to heat up. Jerry Johnson. Comier, get it to Panthers with a full court press. Gray from the free throw line turns around and stops that. Stops all of that. Hamilton left side now to Johnson. Bellinger will give it up. Here comes Lomax around the left side. Bellinger kicks it back to Lomax. Wide open. He should have shot that one. Here comes Hamilton for three. Uh-uh. And Masu Williams with a strong rebound and put back. Yes, it's good for two. And Masu Williams. Coach Byron Smith out of his jacket now. Here we come right side. Mitchell has it knocked away. Saved in by Bellinger. And Bethea takes his time getting up. Wide open is Johnson. Another 15-footer. No. Hamilton putting it back up, and Hamilton's going to be fouled by Mark Gray. Mark Gray's going to pick up his second personal, his first personal foul. I'm pardon me. Where are you going with the ball? Foul number 24, Mark Gray. That's his first personal. Third team foul. Hamilton is going to shoot two. First shot is the way it's good. Nolan Wilson will check in for the Panthers. Check in for the Panthers. Number 15, number Wilson. Hamilton's second shot is away. No. Snatching it down is Deontay Hearns. Comier. Kicks it left side. Now gives it back up. Up top to Nigel Ribeiro. Right side with an ass. Comier. Comier in trouble. Trap. Good defense by the Panthers. They're down to five seconds on the shot clock. Gray's got to do something with it. Down to three, two, shot clock violation. Great defense by the Panthers. And the Panthers love it. 15-44 left to play. The first media timeout. The Panthers up by four, 35-31. We'll step aside. 
Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. left to play here. Uh, Imasu Williams, Jaron Johnson, and uh, also Mark Gray all have 11 points. Uh, Gray leading the Tigers with 11, and of course Williams and Johnson tied here for the Panthers. The Panthers though winning the rebounding war 24 to 16, and that's the difference here in the game. The Panthers with 17 points off of 14 turnovers committed by the Tigers of Graham State. Great defense that time by Nigel Ribeiro, but he stepped out of line, out of bounds, and the Panthers will have 12 seconds to make a decision. Lomax to take it out. Man, a reset? Yeah, because he stepped out of bounds. That's what we thought. Okay, well, I'm just checking. Williams trapped in the corner. The Panthers with plenty of time. Hamilton comes to the top of the circle. And now right side with it is going to be Lomax. Lomax working, turning. Gives it up to Bellinger and... And a foul call. Is, is he making a zero? Wow. Irvin Mitchell now with two fouls for the Tigers. Panthers lose that one, and now we're going back the other way. And wow, Mitchell stepped on the line, and another turnover by the Tigers of Gramlin State. That brings the total of turnovers uh, to 16 here. And the uh, Tigers of Gramlin State average 14 turnovers, so they're way past their average here tonight. Bellinger comes up, puts it up with the right hand. Williams fighting for it. All over the back, and he's going to be called for that one. Golly gee, he rode him like a horse. It's going to be uh, two on Edmasu Williams. Richmond has it right side, and they're going to call Jaron Johnson with the body. Yeah, got him. And Johnson saying, hey, but you got to be careful. That's going to be three on Jaron Johnson. And it's going to bring the foul total to four. Bellinger, the Panthers with a trap. And the official standing right in the way. Watch out, Tony. And uh, 15 or 14, that's going to be Wilson with the foul. That's going to be uh, three on Nolan Wilson. And that brings the foul total to five. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mitchell's first shot is away. It's good. And, and Williams is going to come right back out. Wilson, rather, is going to come right back out. Wilson and Dobbs uh, do a good job of uh, just getting in the way. They've got to settle down and get in their seat, put their hands and extend their hands up instead of so much activity out there. Bellinger almost commits a backcourt violation. Good job of keeping it in. Giddings coming around the right side, gives it up to Hamilton, back up top now to Lomax. Bellinger thought about the three steps inside. Now down to five seconds. He's got to do something with it. Three. Lomax steps back and just launches one. And the Panthers, golly gee, can't get any production out of it that time. Up by two, 35 to 33 with 14 on one left to play in this one. Next media timeout to 12. Or 16, 14, and 8. So the next stoppage of the clock will be a media timeout. And they're going to call Williams with the blocking foul. And that's three on, Wil on Williams. And immediate timeout, ladies and gentlemen. 13.48 left to play. Wait a minute. We, have we had our media? No. We already had? Okay. Well, wait a minute. Let's stay here, folks. I'm listening at the officials. I shouldn't listen at the officials. I should just... <laughs> I want to send a shout out to head volleyball coach Tacho Tyler, who is uh, putting together some uh, some uh, great packages for you, some super duper players coming in to Pantherland for volleyball season next year. Can't wait. 40. Bellinger. Loses it, but uh, Giddings picks it up. Back out to Bellinger for three. Oh, man, he almost hit that one, and that's what we needed. Giddings almost commits a foul. Here we go back the other way. In the paint. Wilson with a good block. And the Panthers come down with it. Here comes Lomax on the fast break. Lomax, coast to coast. Putting it back up off the glass for two. Angry Lomax. Great job by Lomax. Beating the defense all the way down. 37-36 the score. And Hamilton, the Panthers just come up. Golly gee, I just wonder what they're thinking about sometimes when they commit these fouls. And uh, that's going to be, uh, let's see. That one's going against Hamilton, right? Oh, they give that one to Lomax. Okay, they give that one to, to Lomax, and that's three on Lomax and the one and one. First shot is away. It's good. And the crowd will quiet as we're tied at 37. Second shot is away, and it's also good. Now Gramlin takes the lead, 38-37. And here comes Hamilton. Hamilton to the Blakely. Right side now to Giddings, back up top now to Hamilton. And uh, Dedante Blakely will try to find a way to get open. But uh, the Tigers with some real aggressive defense. Hamilton thought about it, now puts it up from 20. Wow, sweet for two. And Ribeiro knocks it out of bounds or oh, no sense pleading your case now. That one's going out on Arnold Richmond. And Ribeiro is nowhere near. Giddings is quickly fouled. And that's going to be a push on Nigel Ribeiro. That's going to be his first personal. But the sixth team foul. 
Giddings puts it up off the glass. No. Mark Gray thought about the three. They give it up to Irvin Mitchell. Mitchell coming around. Now Richmond finds a hole, tries to put it up. It's knocked out of mind of his hands of Jadante Blakely. Let's see. And they're going to get that one to Bellinger. That's going to be his first personal of the night. Richmond's shot his way. No good. Checking in for the Panthers now is going to be Karim York. Second shot is the way it's good. The Tigers now up 140 39. Blakely bringing it all the way down. Great move. Blakely shoots it from the right elbow. It's good for two. Dante Blakely. They give it up now to uh, Nigel Ribeiro. Back up to Richmond. Richmond wide open for three is Bethea. And no, we'll go back the other way. Media timeout on the court, ladies and gentlemen. 41-39, the Panthers up by two. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our athletes. It's great. It's very family-oriented. I chose for you because well, uh, of the great coaches with my teams. Baseball for the school. I chose for you because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to friend of mine. I wanted to come to an HBCU. We had a great experience. Uh, I knew that I would have been My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Caribbean because of this great academic experience. Being a leader for my teammates. You get to make new friends from it's all over. It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View, so it's only It's just fun to be the type of Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. 11.32 left to play here in the second half. The Panthers up to 41-39. to Gramlin State is uh, right on their heels, folks. If you uh, just checked in, the uh, women's team had it rough, uh, was defeated 51-44 to here on our home court. The last time the Lady Tigers defeated Prairie View here on our home court was 2010. So, uh, G. Willikers. They haven't uh, beat us here in six years. And uh, Candace Dixon is all excited about it. Don't you start that dang tweet. Up top with it now is Giddings for three. He hits the backboard, has it just throw it up. Good defense by the Tigers. Left corner, but they will have it. They'll push it all around to Ribeiro. Back up top now to Richmond. Down low to Mark Gray. Great double team. Now Bethea in the corner, he hits it for three. Good roll and rotation there. Forty-two, forty-one. now the Tigers up. Left corner, Hamilton will have it. Now to Giddings, back out to Hamilton. Hits the side of the iron, that three-pointer looked good, but no, not enough. Uh, 
sending shots out to uh, Montreal Scott, Montreal Johnson. What's going on with that? Thought that was Montreal Scott. The Panthers get the rebound. We'll go back the other way. 42-41. Montreal Johnson. Want to send a shout out to him. And up top, no. And that one's going to go against Arnold Richmond. It's going to be his third and a seventh team foul. Rim, uh, Karim York's uh, first shot is away. It's no good. Second shot is away. That one's good with the left hand. Ribeiro to Mathea. Tied at 42 here with 9.44 left to play. Mathea with another three-pointer. No. Ribeiro, or Richmond rather, throws it away, gives it to Ribeiro, and he shoots it for two. And now the Panthers are down by two. We're going to stay here doing this time out, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get excited. Panther basketball comes your way this Monday as Jackson State will come to town to take on the Panthers. Also, folks, if you're in the Houston area, uh, the women's bowling team will be at the Palace Lanes uh, on Bel Air Boulevard in uh, Houston. Uh, it's the uh, Stephen F. Austin Lady Jack Classic Bowling Tournament. So go on out and uh, support Coach Glenn White and the Lady Panthers. I want to remind you, uh, the residents in Northwest Houston and Cyprus is a premier destination, uh, or it should be at Cyprus, is a premier destination uh, and hotel partner for Prairie View Indian University. If a mini vacation or weekend getaway is in your near future, call now and inquire about our fantastic weekend and weekly rates just by mentioning Prairie View and them athletics. Please visit the Residence Inn, Houston, Northwest Cypress Center. Near Huffmeister Road, the number to call 281 295 1777. 281 295 1777. Uh, for more information, Sodexo Food Service is ready to provide catering for your special needs, anniversaries, banquets, birthdays, graduations, holiday meals, receptions, or weddings. Contact Sodexo in the Houston area, 281 850 1933 is the number. And in the Prairie View area, 832 309 8 Two, one, one. So Dexo make it every day a better day. How about that? 927 left to play in this one. Giddings from the left elbow. No. Long rebound by Hamilton and a double pump, and he's gonna be fouled. Good job by uh, Zachary Hamilton and Catching him on the arm is going to be Deontay Hearns, and that's going to be Hearns' first personal. Checking in for the Panthers uh, is number 23 at Masu Williams and Jaron Johnson. So the Panthers got their horses back in. Williams getting Zachary Hamilton, uh, Lomax, and Williams all out on the floor for the Panthers. Second shot is away. It's good. 44-43 the score. Oh, Gray with a great and Johnson with a foul on the floor. And they're going to give that one over to Hamilton. I saw Johnson all, uh, pardon me, Hamilton. Um, I saw Johnson all in the air. And that's going to be uh, his second personal for the first for Zachary Hamilton. Williams uh, battling for the one and one. It's knocked away. 
And Richmond comes down with it. Mark Gray going to the bucket, knocked away. Here comes Giddings going the other way. Giddings traveling, weaving through uh, traffic. Puts it up no good. And a jump ball, and Graham State will have it. Forty-four, forty-three. the Panthers. Down one. And the Tigers turn it over again. That is 18 turnovers by the Tigers of Grambling State here tonight. Hamilton shoots it into Giddings now over the Lomax left side to Johnson. Lomax will bring it to the top of the circle. Knocked out of bounds. By the Panthers off the hands of Giddings. Still stuck uh, with a one-point lead is Graham State 44-43. Running jumper, it's good by Arnold Richmond. Johnson thought about the three, and Richmond now is going to pick up the foul. That's going to be three on Arnold Richmond, and uh, now a media timeout, ladies and gentlemen. 7.50 left to play in this one. The Tigers up by three. 46 to 43. We'll step aside and come right back. One team if we win. One team if we win. One team if we lose. One team if we lose. How we play. How we play. It's how we choose. It's how we choose. Let our arms. Let our arms be strong and high. Be strong and high. And lady set. And lady set. Be first to 25. Be first to 25. University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View and m University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Welcome back, Johnson at the line. First shot is the way it's good. Both the Tigers and the Panthers are in the one and one with nine team fouls apiece. Montreal Scott checking in uh, with uh, exciting Panther vision all the way from Dallas, Texas. Left side with it on the dribble drive in the corner. It's going to be Ribeiro. Down to eight seconds. Johnson just has to throw it up, and it's knocked out of bounds off of Williams. So now the Tigers have three seconds to shoot it. Ribeiro trying to get it in, trying to find somebody. 
gives it up, knocked out of bounds, out of the hands rather, of Hearns. Here come the Panthers. Hamilton Wild right at the right elbow. Gives it to Johnson in rhythm. Johnson hits the inside of the iron. No. Good shot. Six fifty six left to play. Ribeiro left side. Comes right side, gives it up to Mark Gray now back over to Ribeiro. Oh, wide open. Nobody under there. A block there on Deontay Hearn's shot and a shot clock violation will go back the other way. Good defense by the Panthers again. Lomax, left side to give it over to Hamilton for two. Tied at 46 here. Ribeiro gives it up to Irvin, down low. Now Mark Gray wants to work in the paint. Everybody with their hands up, and Gray loses it. Now here come the Panthers. Lomax with the right side. Oh, man, Johnson with a great move. Puts it up. Oh, it's sweet for two. Darren Johnson. Wow. What a shot there. And I tell you, when Johnson gets in rhythm, he is really, really sweet there on that step in, step out, and uh, that floater. Folks, the specialists at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Willowbrook are uh, proud to be the official sponsor of Prairie View and M uh, University Athletics, actually the official health care provider. Uh, they're the title sponsor for last week's game and this, this game here tonight. Whether you're a weekend warrior, uh, elite level professional, or uh, just a student athlete, the uh, board certified and fellowship trained physicians at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Willowbrook offer world class care close to you. For more information, please visit HoustonMethodist.org. 5.45 left to play. The Panthers up by two. 48 to 46. The Panthers with a floor slap made famous by Jerome Francis right here in the Dome. Uh, Mark Gray hits one of those uh, gnomes. Oh, man. Going for the dunk was Irvin Mitchell. Boy, and that would have really took some wind out of the Panther sails. That was nasty. Wow. What hops. That would have been okay. 526 left to play. The Panthers up two. Lomax. In the left corner to Johnson. Now Williams at the left block. Finds a hole. Puts it up. Yes, and one. And also, going to count that bucket. And that one's going to go against Deontay Hearns. And that's a three on Deontay Hearns. That ball is number three, Deontay Hearns. That is his third person. Williams, they want to shoot one. Montreal Scott uh, beckoning for the Panthers to come on so he can come down to the tournament. Should be a lot of fun down at the Toyota Center. Jonathan Stripling and I have been telling that live about we're going to go every year. Always seem to be working during the uh, tournament. Great. Great defense by the Panthers. Wilson on the line now. Richmond now with it. Spots for three points. No. Williams takes it away from Gray. And uh, Gray just holds on to her. Gray and Wilson really going at it. Tweet that. I'm sorry. I'm 
I'm going to get in trouble if I don't stop. I'm going to mess it up. Gray with uh, two fouls now, Williams to go to the line. And Masu Williams uh, will will have two. I hadn't heard from the uh, yes, the uh, Santa Monica, California fans who usually uh, log on to Panther Vision and watch us. Second shot is away. It's all next. And now the Panthers trying to slowly pull away. Not enough time to start celebrating left, or too much time rather, to start celebrating here in the Baby Dome. Panthers with some great defense here in the uh, last few minutes. Down low on the block to give it up. Matea in the corner. And stepping on the line that time was Nigel Ribeiro and uh, Sean uh, Walker wants a timeout. And Walker uh, is uh, not a happy camper there. And a full time out here in the Baby Dome. 422 left to play. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Uh, stay of the art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Today, we start a new era in Prairie View Animal Football. We learn from our past. We respect our heritage, but we will build and leave a legacy for others to follow. We will build this legacy on preparation. We will build this legacy with teamwork. We will build this legacy in the future. We will build this legacy and fight for every job. to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers up 52-46 with uh, 4.16 left to play. Giddings will have it and give it up now to Hamilton uh, with a curl from Jared Johnson back to Giddings back. Now to Johnson. 12 seconds on the shot clock. They throw it down into Lomax. Now Giddings will take it back out to Lomax. He's got three seconds left. Over now to Johnson for three. No. Hamilton gets the rebound, though, and will set it right back up. Lomax to Johnson. Johnson back over now to Hamilton. Hamilton with a double pump off the glass. No. Williams snatching it out. Wow, man, with a big rebound there for Masu Williams. Man, some huge ones. Lomax gets it back out to Giddings now. Down to 3.24 left to play. Oh, Williams puts it up off the glass. No. Hamilton gets it up and puts it in for two. 3.13 left to play. 54-46. The score, the Panthers. Trying to close this one out. But they up for three. Oh, that was nasty. Sending a shout out to uh, Mike Dog Seven and the Mary Abs. Checking in with us. Two forty-three left to play. Fifty-four to forty-nine. The score. Lomax at the left wing. Lomax 
trying to find it down. Oh, man, tries to get it down to Williams. Williams are real hot right now. They're trying to work it, but you got to watch Bethea because he can hit the three-pointer. Getting close to crunch time, 54-49. Ribeiro gets up, and Bethea gets hot. And we said you got to watch him. Michael Bethea Jr., the 6'6 Jr., from New York, New York, Staten Island, rather, New York. The three-point is they give it over to Hamilton, in and out, no good. Oh, Jerry Johnson with a back slam. Jerry Johnson. Wow. Well, that's exactly what the Panthers needed, and the crowd's getting into it now. 56-51, down to a minute 46 left to play. Panthers with some good defense here. 19 seconds on the shot clock for the Tigers. Gray to Bethea. Catches in motion. Boom. Six points by Bethea. The last three shots. <laughs> three pointers. And the Tigers close within two. Stick around. We'll come back with this exciting finish. This is exciting Panther basketball. We can point you on campus saying, hey, that's one of our the athletes. It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose BB because I'm looking forward to competing in the SWAC with my team. I'm baseball for the school. I chose Prairie View because I enjoy the pride and tradition. It was the best situation for me to friend of I wanted to come to an HPCU. We created an experience that I would have never My favorite athletic experience would be homecoming and also being forced to go to study hall because without it, I wouldn't have my high GPA of 3.8. I chose Caribbean because of its great academic Being a leader for my teammates and You get to make new friends from all of It's a well-rounded um, institution that's strong in academics and athletics. Today, we start a new era in Prairie View Animal Football. We learn from our past, we respect our heritage, but we will build and leave a legacy for others to follow. We will build this legacy on preparation. We will build this legacy for teamwork. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers down by, uh, up by two with a minute 30 left to play. Michael Bethea Jr. with a two-pointer and two three-pointers in a row to close as the Panthers were trying to pull away. Giddings on the baseline with a double pump. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up for two. Jordan Giddings. Panthers playing with a, a different attitude here the last couple of games. Left side with it is Ribeiro. Over to Richmond. Down low to Mark Gray. He wants to work on. And a foul called on... Jaron Johnson, but a bowl there on uh, Mark Gray, no call. And that's going to be uh, four on Johnson. Want to uh, try to get some uh, Mark Gray's uh, average. We'll just call one out, 38%. And that's not it because he hit that one. Gray, a 70 6% free throw shooter, 45 of 62 coming into tonight's contest. Now the Panthers up by three with uh, basically two possessions barring any turnovers here in this one. Gray's second shot with a 76% average. Puts it up, and it's good. And now the Tigers up two. Johnson. Back over to Lomax. The Panthers can do it. Right side now, Lomax will have it at the top of the circle. Down to 13 seconds on the shot clock. Johnson gives it back up now to Johnson. That's who we want to have it. Johnson with a three-pointer. Oh, man, in and out, no good. And, and Masu Williams, oh, they call it on Williams. 
He's shooting. Oh, okay. I, he pointed. He's pointing at Williams. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Boy, let's get this one right. And that one's going to go against Deontay Hearns, his fourth. Folks, you know our philosophy, free throws extend leads and win games. And that time, Williams didn't hit the free throw. 58-56. These are really, really important. This one is because there's a one second, a one second, one and five tenths, there it is, uh, second differential between the shot and game clock, and that means Gramlin's going to have to shoot a three-pointer. Now the Panthers are going to have to defend, defend Michael Bethea because he has been hitting it, and also Irvin Mitchell can hit him. Mitchell steps inside, gives it up right side. They want Bethea to have it. He just throws it up. Hits the side of the iron. No. They'll get another shot at it down with 13 seconds left. They want to give it to Bethea. Left side, wide open for three. No. And Johnson gets it. And that should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Panthers should get their second win in a row. But boy, did they not want Michael Bethea to have that shot. He's deadly. Grambling State Tigers will, uh, barring any miracles, we need these free throws. We've got Jaron Johnson on the line. And if uh, Johnson hit these two, that should pretty much do it with 4.8 seconds left. Shot is away. No good. Wow. Johnson with one more shot. <laughs> Mike Dog seven. Checking in. Second shot is away. It's good. Okay, four seconds left. The Panthers up by four. Here comes the Tigers. One shot. And that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. And the Panthers take their winning streak to two in a row. Stick around. We'll talk to head coach Byron Smith right after these important messages. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camping. I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. I'm really glad I came. Then the kiss me comes back. It's just to look on the faces at the end of the week. Just for sure joy and the experience that they have. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Summertime equals summer camps, and this one's unique. The focus is not just getting to know new friends, but also about getting to know nature, specifically wildlife. If the only thing the kids take away this week is a deeper understanding for wildlife and how important it is to everyone, then we've done our job. It's called the Wildlife Conservation Camp, and it's put on by the Texas chapter of the Wildlife Society. The goal of the week-long getaway is to introduce high school students to all aspects of wildlife and to let them know it's not just fun, but can also be a career. Meeting the professionals has been really amazing because I get to you know, meet people who are actually in this, who are actually in the fields I'm interested in, and so I'm kind of getting a better idea of where I might want to go, things I might want to do to better prepare myself for my future career. Campers come from all over Texas, or in Elizabeth's case, the United States. For seven days, they're immersed in all things wildlife. They spend very little time indoors. All the learning this week is done outside in nature's classroom and students soak in every lesson. It's truly amazing because there's so many topics that we cover and you're just so exhausted because we do so much and it's just 100% out in the woods constantly doing what I love to do which is conservation and research of wildlife. Maybe they're kayaking, setting traps, building scent stations or learning to shoot. Whatever the activity, the goal is to instill a love and respect for the outdoors and the animals that call it home. I've learned so much from the camp. I've learned so much about conserving the wildlife and the habitat of animals and, and how important it is you know, to, to maintain this stuff around us. 
The camp moves to different locations every year, allowing diversity in the students and the environment. The camp started in 1993. It's been a 22-year experiment, guiding youth and young adults toward a deeper passion for wildlife, maybe inspiring a vocation. The experiment has been a success. Well, my mom told me about the camp, and I didn't really want to come at first, but now that I'm here, I really like it. It's my favorite camp that I've ever been to. I'm really glad I came. The thing that keeps me coming back is just the look on their faces at the end of the week, just the sheer joy and the experience they've had. Experiences that will benefit the environment as much as the student. For Voices of Agriculture, Gary Joyner, Junction. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. University, we have a state-of-the-art sports medicine program. Our goal is to take care of the, the whole athlete. We have orthopedic sports medicine specialists. We have full subspecialty uh, orthopedic coverage for these athletes from hand to spine to foot and ankle. We have sports psychologists, nutritionists, concussion specialists. Uh, we really cover the whole gamut in terms of taking care of, of these athletes and providing them with uh, elite care from Houston Methodist. Here at Prairie View and M University. It's a legacy of my family to come to Prairie View. So it's only it's just fun to be the type of person where someone can pinpoint you on campus saying, "Hey, that's one of our yeah, athletes." It's great. It's very family oriented. I chose for you because uh, of the great coaching with my team. Teams. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers men's team victorious uh, by a score of 60 to 56. The Panthers really got after it really well. You know, we use some colloquialisms, coach, from uh, uh, previous regimes. Uh, one of the coaches used to say that the, the team used to get their lather up, and uh, they got their lather up real early. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. They got their lather up real early, and, and they stayed after it. Uh, and Masu Williams uh, with a double-double, that is the production that we have been looking for from Williams. And then, of course, Jaron Johnson uh, leads all scores with 17 points. The keys here are we out-rebounded them, we beat them in the paint, and we scored 17 points off their turnovers. The Panthers uh, held it all the way down to the end. Gramlin didn't come in here to lay down, but I think they did a great job here tonight. I, I think so, too. And, uh, you know, really, really uh, proud of the effort. Um, I think last week when we played against Texas Southern, you know, it was so electric and the energy was great. And uh, the kids were just playing out of their minds. I, I think sometimes people think that, uh, though our players, they think that it's supposed to be like that all the time. But Grambling, a lot like Prairie View, has nothing to lose. They've three games yeah. in conference. So they're a dangerous team, just like I think we can be. Uh, they're scrappy. They're well coached. Uh, they have a good group of guys that play hard and they play the right way. Uh, and most importantly, they had that guy, Michael Bethea, that hit some big threes at the end. And uh, when you got those type of players on the floor, you're never out of the ball game, Charles. Yeah, Michael Bethea, uh, the junior, is he a junior from uh, Staten yeah. Island, New York? Uh, he was highly uh, recruited uh, before he uh, winded up at Graham State, and, and he can shoot it. We didn't want him to get the ball, but I think the Panthers did a great job of defending him, folks, and not fouling him uh, to send him to the line for a four-point play. Well, the Panthers get two in a row here um, and then take this one into Jackson State. The Panthers really uh, can put themselves in the driver's seat going uh, into the tournament, Coach. I think uh, the guys are starting to get their confidence up. Uh, they're starting to play a, a little bit better as a team. We're still making some silly fouls and some silly mistakes, and we've got to get past that. But other than that, overall, I think we had a, a, a great effort uh, from the guys. I, I think so, too, Charles. I, uh, I don't think I did a really good job tonight in terms of helping my guys with their confidence, uh, simply because, you know, we, 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 we focus on trying to be a good defending team and rebounding. And offense, you know, my philosophy, the offensive side is kind of your time. You know, we let you give you some freedom, simplify some things. But when we came out in some areas and we had some lapses like we've done in the past, um, 
I got a little bit upset about it because, you know, we were – I'm coaching against complacency. Yes. Because everyone wanted to come out tonight, and everyone is watching and saying, well, okay, hey, they play Texas Southern. It's a rival. They always get up for that game. It's a big game. Let's see how they're going to respond, you know, the following week, you know, against a, uh, uh, in terms of record, a lesser team. Yes. Uh, so I was very disappointed early that we, we came out and we, were, we, we, we lacked some intensity and some energy. Uh, so I got after my guys pretty hard. And I think I may, along the lines of kind of hurt their confidence, Tevin Bellinger. I have to do a better job of that. And, and I will. But the one thing I'm not going to allow is I'm not going to allow our guys to come out and not give the, put forth the effort. You know, our fans, uh, our alumni, our administration deserve better than that. And uh, so I'm going to be on them about it. But I just have to have a good balance in terms of how I'm dealing with them and how I'm coaching them. Well, Coach, uh, the Panthers are victorious here tonight. Uh, I think we've got a snafu going on in the background here. Uh, that's my, uh, my fault. Uh, the Panthers are victorious. Thank you, uh, Ryan. Get, get, go. This is one of the times where we don't mind you walking in front of the camera. Uh, let's stop that. But, uh, Coach, I want to thank you for stopping by. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, uh, Brian McGinty. Obviously, doesn't know how. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I want to say congratulations on tonight's win, two in a row for the Panthers. Uh, um, that's a great outing. We see a different team here now, and, and I think the administration as well as the fans are going to be pleased. Uh, hopefully, uh, on Monday they'll come out in droves. You know, this is Valentine's weekend, so a lot of uh, sweethearts are going to buy sweethearts for their sweethearts. So, uh, hopefully, uh, the gym will be packed on Monday night. We'll get a good crowd in here and get another win against. Jackson State uh, starting at 7.30 p.m. Sounds good. Look forward to it, and I thank you for having me, Charles. Folks, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go, though, uh, I want to send a couple of shouts out. Coach, my teammate Cedric Scott, um, who is a legacy here at Prairie View. His father uh, was uh, not only a, a Hall of Fame member, but on the, I think, I, I don't want to say wrong, I think it was the 19. 65 championship team. I, I want to say I want to make a mistake, but uh, he's gone on to glory. Mm. Uh, Cedric came uh, with me as freshman here at Prairie View Andam University. We were wide receivers together, and the fastest guys on the team. We were freshmen. We led the team when it was time to run, mm -hmm. even though I had to run more than everybody else. <laughs> but uh, uh, Cedric had open heart surgery on yesterday. He's a very, very dear friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He's been really having it rough. Lost his sister Calva Scott uh, earlier this year, and virtually it's it's him and two other family members that's left in that Scott uh, clan, and I wish I could be there uh, with Cedric. I love him a lot. He's my teammate, my brother, uh, and uh, gee whiz, it, it's, it's tough, but I know God is good. And he is. He's going to see uh, uh, Cedric through that. Absolutely. Also, there's a place in Dilly, Texas. You know, I work in the oil field, uh, but uh, there's a place in Dilly, Texas called Swamp Daddies. A-Bears, the A-Bear family, Nick and Margaret a bear are the proprietors of Swamp Daddies. They got some good old Cajun food. We like to go and eat out there. I'm and from Louisiana, so I like that. You know that. I'm, I'm rain, Louisiana, and what, what part of Louisiana? Bossier City. Bossier City. So we we like crawfish, yeah, and we like it hot. Mike West is over there shaking his head. Like when you go cook some of those crawfish. Uh, but anyway, uh, Swamp Daddies is on their 90-day countdown. They're leaving Dilly, Texas. They're getting a food truck and moving over uh, to the Canyon Lake area. Okay. So they're going to be having a food truck in the Austin area and all of this. Some very dear friends of mine, uh, Nick and Margaret, and Sissy Abear. We remember when Sissy was eight years old, when we first started working in the oil field, and she was just a little sassy thing. Well, she has grown up to be a teenager, and we couldn't believe it. And I couldn't get off the broadcast uh, today without saying hello and good luck to my dear friends down at uh, uh, Swamp Daddy's, uh, the Abear family in Dilly, Texas. Safe travel to my main man, uh, Jonathan Stribling, couldn't be with us. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes duty calls and we had to go. So uh, hopefully he'll be back uh, for the last two broadcasts, folks. It's going to wrap it up for us here in the Baby Dome. Once again, the Panthers victorious, 60-56. Uh, to 56. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody for checking in. We've got a great corral of students, uh, Juju and Alex. And uh, I got nicknames for everybody. Uh, that's uh, uh, Sabrina uh, uh, Campbell Youssef. And then Alex Goodwin, my main man. And, of course, Ron Leverett with us. And our technical director, Mike West. For our athletic director, Mr. Ash. Lee Robinson, our sports information director, Mr. Ryan McGinty, our assistant athletic director, Alicia Pete. This is Charles Porter saying so long. We'll see you Monday night, folks. Don't miss it. Monday night with more exciting Panther basketball. <laughs>